And now that thrill of thrills, the ultimate goal of every ambitious skier, the ski jump. This is insane, you guys. Yo, this is sexy, man. <laughs> Broadcasting live from the internet, it's Tuesday night, and this is the PanelsOnPages.com podcast with your host, Lee Rodriguez. At the end of the day, babies are terrible people, and I'm not sorry for saying it. Jason Nyes. Motherfucker, I won best costume! Jose Guzman. Yeah, I know nothing about Firestorm, except for his hat's always burning. And Kelly Harris. Boy, love, it appears we got a penis in the mail. <laughs> I glued my fucking eyes shut! <laughs> I just want to see all these Yelp reviews of Jose's jizz. <laughs> oh, sorry, I knocked you over the salt. Like you had anything better to do. What's happening, everybody? Today is Tuesday, uh, March 12th, 2019. No, it's February, number... Lee. It's February. What did I say? March. Fuck, yeah, you said March. February 12th. I blame it on... I don't know what I blame it on, but it's it's, it's February 12th. <laughs> now he's got the calendar ready just now if you were going to say <laughs> Well, I felt him start to stumble, and I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. It's been a while since Lee fucked up the date. <laughs> it has been a while since I fucked up the date. February 12th, 2019, episode 457 of the Panels on Pages podcast. Uh, I'm your host, the Lord Reverend Lee Rodriguez, and joining me tonight, we got Mr. Jason Nyes. What the fuck was that? <laughs> That's me snapping my fingers trying to test the theory about oh, <laughs> what's, what's making the noise, the thumb and the finger, or your middle finger hitting your hand? Fucked up, man. Uh, your finger Jose, hitting your hand. Jose Guzman. I heard that, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, Kelly Harris. Man, fuck basement water. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Kelly's had a rough, rough week. Uh, and joining us uh, from the Modern Horrors podcast and modernhorrors.com is uh, my brother, Luke Rodriguez. What's Woo! up, sir? Hey, how's it going? Uh, I just want to say I've started my podcast. It's, it's a running joke on the Modern Horrors podcast that I fuck up the episode number every single time. So apparently that shit runs in the family. Runs in the family. Literally <laughs> hereditary. It's right in front of me. It's right in front of my fucking face. Like, and it's, it's still it's still terrible. He never, was, like, he might have gotten the episode ro- number wrong once or twice, but that one he's pretty solid on. Yeah. And we've had a it's number of reboots. Yeah, you know what? That's a very good point. So that's yeah. pretty good. I think we've had like seven episode 156s. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking, talking, thinking of the day about how um, we've been doing our show for coming up on ten years, um, and you guys have been going for what three, four years, something like that. Yeah, yeah, four, four years. Yeah, and yet I don't think we've ever done a show together. No, I don't. I don't think so. We, uh, you came to us recording an episode when we screened uh, someone's movie Way early on. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, no, no, you've never been on the show, and I've never been on here, so it's it's awesome to make it finally happen. Fucking weird. Kind of bizarre. Oh, and you guys both fuck up the dates. It's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been doing this for 10 years. Luke's been doing it for three to four years and has completely eclipsed us as far as following goes. So we brought Luke on to promote his uh, crowdfunding, but really it's just so that we can get that modern horrors bump. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. We we relied on Cinema Sins to get ours, so it's okay. It's there, you there you go. There you go. There you go. But no, yeah, um, uh, I'm feeling pretty good. I uh, got some sniffles gone. Uh, it took a hot minute. Nice. And so, what better way to celebrate uh, a sniffle-free face than to go walk around New York City in February this weekend? <laughs> so, it's gonna be just fine. I mean, just fine. Yeah, but you live with like, how old is Jax? Uh, f- almost five. Yeah, you live with an almost five-year-old boy. Anything New York has for you, you- you've got the antibodies Dude, for. They yeah. fucking they close schools for the rest of the week because so many kids are sick. Jesus. Yeah, it's like a like a straight up pandemic. I think I'm using yeah, that word correctly. Yeah, you'd be safer licking the ground in New York than going into those schools. Wash your damn oh, hands, we, Shelby lick the Brown, Brown, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so, I want to talk about the movie. 
I want to do that. But before I do, uh, I, I want to posit a, a thought experiment to all of you, and and I hope I'm I'm correct in what the result's going to be. I was I'm thinking to, oranges. I was <laughs> definitely not oranges. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I was listening to uh, your mom's house podcast. Love it. Probably. Got him. Good show. Good show. Good show. <laughs> Um, and topic came up. I think they had Ryan Redband on, and they're talking. And the situation is, ooh, I know this story. <laughs> so, like, okay, the situation is, you can you you have your pick of the litter, right? Would you jerk off a dude for half a million dollars? Like, dude, can I go from- first? Dude's cl- yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yeah. I would. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. yeah. Right, like, like no hesitation. A hundred percent, yes. <laughs> yeah, Luke's like, yeah, that crowdfunding campaign hasn't hasn't hit its goal yet, so yeah, I could use that. <laughs> like, what's like, the other one? Just like be enveloped in puppies? <laughs> no, 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 no. It was just a matter of like, you know, I think it was just you know, just would you do it for? Like, they, they they started off like you know like. Like ten thousand dollars, whatever, and they got up to half yeah. a million bucks. And they got, yeah, exactly. So I started thinking about what's my th- like. How little would I do it for? <laughs> well, yeah. The problem with those guys is they have money, right. so it's more of a how much money am I willing to debase myself Even for? Because I have not money. a whole lot. I wouldn't do for half a million dollars tax free cash. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I can take it further. I mean, I'm just maybe I'm speaking for myself. Maybe I'm speaking out of turn here, but. If I'm in a in a time of war, perhaps, and like my my boy that I've been stationed with for forever is about to die, and all he wants to do is get jacked off one last time, I'm not getting any money from it. I might do that. Yeah, you know, I'm just yeah. saying. Oh, yeah. It's just jerking them off, not putting it in your mouth. No, no, just jerking off. Yep. Oh, I'll give you a fucking double hander. <laughs> <laughs> Jose's against good about yourself. Jose's Brother, against I've receiving got all the hand spit jobs. In the world for you. Oh man. Yeah. So I, I'm I'm glad that went. The way I thought I was gonna go. I'm like, no, because fucking that's the only right answer. I don't care who you are or how much fucking money you've got. That's just easy. That's easy. Yeah, yeah. Especially if I'm gonna put it in my mouth or my butthole. No, yeah. nothing. No man. Shit, you've been doing for free your whole damn life. <laughs> yeah. Dude, let's get crazy. I'll it. fucking cross my hands and do both of us. Let's <laughs> get wild. <laughs> okay, like I call this one hands across America. <laughs> yeah. Special move. I can call this the blind taste test. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> can, can you tell which hands which? Switching it up. Switching it up. Oh, oh, oh watch out! Oils. Diet Coke's in the lead. I <laughs> thought. I thought when you led into that that you were going to tell the story about when Brian Redman was at a party at Slash's house Oof, and he was eating his, he was eating his girlfriend's ass out and uh, she shit in his mouth. <laughs> Yeah, it's a terrible fucking story. Uh, they, Wait, they, Slash's girlfriend or no, his own? No, it, it was the, this dude's better, girlfriend, yeah. Why are you eating someone's ass at Slash's house? They were high on Molly. Why the fuck not? You're at <laughs> yeah, Slash's house. Yeah, Molly, yeah. <laughs> what else do you do at Slash's house? I don't know, like, say, hey, you look like that one Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's going to be Tell a fun me night. Tell me he doesn't. You Tell fucking, me he doesn't. You tickle buttholes with your nose. Which Muppet are you? He looks like a... Uh, he looks like Slash could be a Muppet himself, but which Muppet are you talking about? Are you talking about Dr. Teeth? Uh, no, it's one of the guys in the Dr. Teeth band. I think yeah, the guy the who that... plays the saxophone. Yes. Oh, uh, Zoot. Yeah. He yeah. does look like Zoot. He You're absolutely right. looks yeah. like Zoot. You're right. 100%. Zoot, do what you wow. I posted no, no. a link to that Brian Redband story in the chat and also oh, it's in gnarly. message. Rum House is a quality podcast, you guys. It's fun stuff. Yeah, they had uh, uh, Big Daddy Kane on this week. <laughs> nice. Speaking of quality podcasts, your boys over at Modern Horrors are doing some pretty cool shit right now. Um, I feel like we've been talking about this forever. Yeah, man. Um, I mean, at one point, I mean, it's, it's been a year. Like, we went into pre production a year ago uh, after just kind of sitting at a restaurant, meeting this guy that. I, I didn't even know this guy. He actually reached out to us on Facebook. He he listened to the podcast. He just moved to Nashville. We said something about Nashville. So it was like, hey, I'm a local filmmaker, and I think you guys might be in Nashville. Would you want to get together for a drink or something sometime? And and, and that's how this movie started. 
That's fucking crazy. That's fantastic. Yeah, so so elevator pitch for God Country is what? Just let people know what the fuck's going on before you get much too further into it. Yeah, so that that's the interesting part is I don't want to, uh, and I'm kind of long-winded, so if you need to shut the fuck up, just tell me. But this is like a two to three hour podcast. So. <laughs> okay, so we're going to need all that. Uh, okay. two, two hour, remember, Kelly has Scene to shovel. Scene one, fade Kelly, in from black. <laughs> Kelly has to shovel snow in the morning, remember. so Yeah, that, that's true. Kelly does have to shovel some snow. Okay. Look, I'll just I'll just pound coffee. I'll be fine. <laughs> so whenever whenever we we met at that at that restaurant, you know, uh, a, a year ago, it, it was at that time when a bunch of church shootings were happening, like an alarming amount of church shootings were happening. Um, and, as and, opposed to the like normal acceptable amount of church shootings. Well, you know, in America, one or two is not really that yeah, big exactly. a deal, not right? That big a um, deal, yeah, right. So, you know, we that, that was kind of in the zeitgeist at the moment. And then my, my fiance uh, had, had a really good friend who uh, took a lift home from a, from a club here in Nashville. It was a gay bar. And uh, his lift driver dropped him off, uh, followed him to his house, and, and tried to beat him to death. Uh, oh, he woke God. up in a pool of his own blood. Half, oh, of his, Jesus. half of his face is still paralyzed to this day. Jesus Christ. Um, and, and there's nothing anyone can do about it because of independent contractor laws and all this stuff. So... Um, that coupled with what was going on with all the church shootings and such, and then just how we all kind of grew up being kind of the weird people and in the South and feeling kind of like outsiders and all, all that together, you know, we, we asked ourselves what genuinely scares us right now. And because we've been watching this shit our entire lives, like we watch every new horror movie that comes out, shit you've never even dreamed of hearing of, like we have to watch day in and day out. And it's almost like nothing really scares us. So we had, we had to ask like, what does scare us? And the only thing we could really think of in real life is like religious extremity, like of any kind, not necessarily an attack on Christianity or, or anything. It's just someone that kills and does heinous acts of violence in the name of any kind of higher power or belief system is fucking scary. Um, so we made a movie about that. Uh, the, the elevator pitch is, it's a guy named Ben Marsh. Um, he has, you know, been a victim of play yard bullying his entire life for being gay. Uh, he is removed from that toxic situation of a hometown whenever he's around 15 and uh, kind of gets his life back on track. He moves to Chicago. Things are good for him. Uh, he gets a phone call uh, making him return back to that place where he fled so long ago. And once he gets there, shit gets really, really, really bad. Love it. Love it. Great, it's awesome, and I, I've seen some of these uh, these crazy sketches you guys are using for these uh, awful instruments of pain uh, and torture. This poor bastard going to go through, and the 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 image on the poster, uh, which you can see now, is uh, this big ass old like antique Bible wrapped in razor wire, and it's a fantastically powerful image. And I'm like, yeah. I want everything about that to be <laughs> and to be not a thing and also show it to me right now. It's a big part of the teaser trailer that's on the crowdfunding can campaign too and uh yeah, it's uh it's gross. Yeah, I mean that that was kind of the it's you know, it's a metaphor if you will, like it's something we talked about a lot during the the writing process and just you know, laying out the blocks of the story is someone that literally uses religion as a weapon. So how yeah. how can how can we make that? You know, how can we manifest that physically? And you know, apparently, you just wrap a motherfucker in razor wire. <laughs> <laughs> so Terry Funk is the villain of God Country. Yeah. I don't know. I <laughs> oh that. no, not Terry Funk. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I um, you know, my, my our writer and director Jake Parker, um he's a big fan of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, and, and as am I, um, I think it's one of the, you know, one of those classic horror films that still holds up today, as you might guess, being from a website called modern horrors. I don't, I don't share the same love for some of the classics that, that others do. Um, but, but Chainsaw Massacre holds up, but me personally, I have a really strong um, attraction to movies in the new French extremity wave films like inside and high tension and martyrs and like these, these really like social impactful movies like in their country. I hate um, high tension so much. <laughs> I hate that fucking movie. But it's one of those movies, man. Like uh, Alex was, it was kind of an evil genius. It's one of those movies that if, if, if at, at, at skin deep, you know, level, it, it's just senseless violence, which, 
first off, I'm, I'm totally cool with that as well. Uh, but once you dive in and start reading all of these different theories and, and start examining like social impacts of what was happening in that area at the time, it means a lot more. Sure. Uh, and I think that's something that we really want to push forward in God Country as well. Like if you just want to come for buckets of blood and crazy gnarly kills, like we're going to give that to you. Um, we're also going to give you a little bit of an underlying message, but we're not going to preach at you because we're kind of making a movie about that. Right. Um, something that we said early on is even though we have, you know, two homosexual, you know, protagonists. Yeah, boy. <laughs> we are not gay guys. So like, we can't write a movie about being gay, you know, but we can write a movie about religious extremity targeting outsiders. Like we can totally do that. Been there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like I, I think probably all of us have been there right. at some point. Um, so it, it kind of became a story about religious extremity, not, not necessarily being gay. In, in fact, like I kind of get annoyed when a movie is pitched as like an LGBT thriller or, or something right. like that, because it feels exploitive to a certain degree. Like just do it. Don't, yeah. don't mention it. Yeah, it's like, if they watch the movie, they'll find out that's what it is, but you don't fucking. Yeah. It's, it's, it to them. it's like feeding the homeless and taking a video crew with you, you know, like, <laughs> like it's, it, it just doesn't, it loses the appeal at that point. So, uh, yeah, I, I think this is going to offer a lot more than just violence and senseless acts of, you know, um, torture, but you're going to get that too. And in the, uh, at seedandspark.com is where the crowdfunding campaign is. Uh, go look up God country. They're at, 2,900 of uh, just under 25,000 goal, and that's huge in what, just two days, like three days? Half, yeah, yeah two, da two days in so far, so we're, we're feeling pretty good about it. We do it's have a long way to go. Uh, we do have a, a higher target than most, um, but if, if we get that, uh, Jose, you're, you're a video guy, right? Correct, sir. Okay, so if, if we get that. Uh, I mean, th this is, th I think the teaser looks pretty good. And we shot that yeah. on a Canon C300, okay, which is not a bullshit camera. No, it's um, great. If we get what we need, they were shooting on an Aerie Alexa, and that's what they shot the fucking Conjuring on. <laughs> um, right. Nice. So, like, th this this is going to be, I mean, this is, we're going to make it for 20 grand, and it's going to look like 3 million, basically, just because of, we, we've been dissecting this genre, talking to filmmakers, learning the ins and outs of this shit, unlike anybody else. And we know exactly what can be done for a very, very little amount of money. And we're going to put our money where our mouth is, like quite literally. And you guys are really leaning on the fact that you're going to be using a lot of practical effects, which, which nice. appeals to Working. all of us you, that are on the show and listen to it. Um, and now kind of getting a better idea of what's going on with that. The Bible with the razor wire. I'm assuming we're going to see a lot of things getting busted open, and I'm down for that. Hell yeah. Yeah, lo lots of uh, busted open stuff. Just lots of mean stuff, man. Like, I'm a fan of mean movies and, and things that I feel like could actually happen. Like, I'm, I'm way more likely to be fucked up by a movie like High Tension, which is kind of nonsensical at the surface, but like that home invasion scene at the start, like home invasion scenes fuck me up if they're done the right way. Strangers. Way more than like, yeah, way more than like a bump in the night kind of ghost story. Um, so, so yeah, you, this is, uh, is going to be a little bit different. I once heard a lady at my office say the exact opposite of that. She said that, you know, what was it's like, you know, I can watch something like, like a home invasion movie, and that's fine. But like, nothing gets me kind of like one of those exorcism of Emily Rose. Like, I know that can really happen. <laughs> I'm like, no oh, shit, God. <laughs> like, okay, man, bye. that is the most southern thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, I buy it. Yeah. So if you want to, I can probably get her as an extra. <laughs> See, I know no one would come into my house because I got my guns, but ghosts, ghosts will be there. <laughs> on that same, on that but same yeah, tip, uh, we. We were uh, like practical effects are super duper important. Uh, in fact, the the razor wire wrapped Bible that you see in the teaser was real razor wire. Um, so we obviously can't do that on set, but we had to be super fucking careful during that teaser because that thing. First off, I don't know how how well it comes across on screen, but that Bible is about the size of a twelve channel mixing board. Like it's fucking massive. Uh, so that thing weighs about probably fifteen pounds. With razor wire, probably closer to, uh, you know, 20. Yikes. So super easy to move, move around with. Yeah. yeah. Imagine getting hit in the head with that motherfucker. Jesus Christ. Eh, it sucked. <laughs> it sucked. Sure would. It could do without it. Do without it. 
So I, I have a pitch for you. Now, God Country, it. it's it's loaded. The name God Country is very loaded, and obviously I get you, get where you're going. But I think there's a possibility for you to sucker some of these, uh, you know, Jesus freaks into <laughs> not only seeing it but donating to it. Cut like one of those trailers that makes it look like it's one of those releasing on <laughs> Easter Jesus movies, but don't yeah. give it away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm going to tell a story, and, and I hope we don't have to go this route, because if we do, it's super incriminating. But um, So w- one of the locations that we needed was a church, and <laughs> it, as you might imagine, it's been pretty hard to lock down a location <laughs> for, for this particular movie. I need script approval. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what we've actually done uh, is we've written one scene um, that is not actually in the movie, but it's a it's, it's a scene with dialogue, the characters, everything that is very wholesome and tells a completely different story. That if someone wants to see that script, we've got it. Brilliant. We're going to give them that. We're approved. We're <laughs> in. Fucking suckers! <laughs> I love Get it. Get them. Fuck Get you, it. standards and practices. <laughs> yeah, and um, like I said, we are from the um, kind of southern Nashville area. It's where we grew up, and uh, the doing a lot of locals to get everything made, right? So we're kind of keeping it local, a lot of local hires, local locations, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, we're trying our best, man. Um, I'm gonna do the, the the composition myself, like the score and all that good stuff. I, I did the yeah, teaser. Well, it, it was cool. I mean, it was the first time I ever tried. I've always wanted to, but um, I felt like I could. Uh, the teaser was the first thing I ever attempted, and I think it came out pretty well. The, the um, song in there, they turn on the radio, and there's the song playing. Yeah. Was that you? No, oh, God, okay, no. Okay. okay. That- um, that's, that's kind of the cool thing that we're able to do with this is um, because we have this religious-themed movie, there are so many public domain religious songs uh, out there that we can just pull from. Oh, that's amazing. Nice. And just probably yeah. creepy as hell. So creepy, man. <laughs> oh, they're so creepy. Yeah, I did some voiceover for the trailer last year, and like it's it's so much better with the song. It just is. Yeah, we. I mean, you, you guys know how this shit works. I mean, the your first draft of something isn't even close to to what the final one is. So, yeah, Lee, yeah. Lee did a voiceover. The guy that ended up being our lead actor did a voiceover, and the voiceover was cool. The words are cool. The song is just cooler. Yeah, it it, it sets the tone like way way better. It's it's great. It's awesome. Yeah, but yeah, have- I mean, any any anything that you guys can do that are listening right now to help us get to that goal uh, means the absolute world to us. I mean, we're we're doing okay as a website. Uh, we we have a Patreon account and all that stuff, but it's uh, a lot of people see the size that we have of like Twitter followers or, or, or Instagram or something like that, and just assume that we're making money. And I'm sure, as you guys can attest to, like just because you have a lot of listeners or readers or anything. Uh, it doesn't mean that you're getting paid for it in, in any real meaningful way other than just to keep the lights on. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we, we totally need the help. Even though the trailer looks like a million bucks, that doesn't mean we have enough to finish it, right? Um, so we, we really need your help. And if, if we get it, um, we're going to give you a lot of cool shit in return. Like we've got, um, like the Bible prop that's in the trailer is the one that we ended up going with. We, we, we experimented, I'll say, with all kinds of Bibles. And uh, we have those available as rewards if you if you if you pledge to a certain extent. Uh, we've even got screen use props like the cradle that's on the poster is going to be available. Uh, limited edition Blu-rays, even tickets to Nashville if you want to come hang out at the Rat Party. I mean, there's, there's a lot of stuff available there. Yeah, even at the low end, ten dollars gets you a digital download of the soundtrack, and twenty gets you the soundtrack and the film, and that's that's a steal nice. right there. If you want to see God yeah, Country, that's, that, that's, that's how you good. donate. <clears throat> yeah, no, I, I mean, absolutely. 10, 10 bucks, 20 bucks. Um, yeah, I think that's another important thing is because we've been in this horror media industry for so long, uh, we've got a lot of connections and had a, a lot of conversations with production companies and distribution studios already. So when this movie's done, I, I mean, it's not going to sit on a shelf. We pretty much already have plans, you know, and, and people have spoken for it. So if we can just get it made, God Country will be available and you guys are going to get it before anybody else. Cool. So, you guys doing any kind of like festival circuit with it? Yeah, I hope so. Um, I I really like the Telluride Horror Show in Colorado. I've always wanted to go there. Um, Dream case scenario for me would be to premiere there. Um, But there's also some really cool stuff in the Tennessee area the uh, Knoxville Horror Film Festival, the Chattanooga Film Festival. They call it the Sundance of the South. Last year, (laughs) I think it was. um, Fuck. What's the. 
The Hobbit. What's his fucking name? Bilbo? Uh, Peter Jackson. Bilbo. <laughs> Keeper Sutherland. <laughs> Peter Jackson? Mar- Martin Freeman? Frodo? May- I'm, I'm really bad at this shit, so maybe I'm wrong. Elijah, Elijah Wood. Wood. Elijah Wood. That's okay. it. There we go. Nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> Elijah Wood was all fucked up Bilbo last year at it. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna do the we're gonna do the festival thing. I, I love film festivals. Um, the horror genre in particular really kills it with the with the whole festival scene. So I'd love to be a part of that. That's fucking rad. That's awesome. So, yeah. yeah, man. Where can people go to, to toss you a couple bones, man? Yeah, so uh, you can go to modernhorrors.com. We've got a God Country post, as you might imagine. Uh, Modern Horrors on Facebook. Pretty much anything at Modern Horrors is gonna have links all over it. You can also go directly to seedandspark.com and just search for modern horrors uh, i'm sorry search for god country and it'll be right there staring at you in the face with a grizzly ass trailer yeah, and you guys oh, got a, a twitter for god country and a facebook too yeah we do and it'd, it'd be really cool uh, just to get those numbers up uh, it, it's it's hard uh building things from the ground up again but it's important for something like this yeah so it's uh at god country film on twitter and god country yeah. feature horror film on facebook so check those out and like those yep god country film on instagram too we've got some behind the scenes photos up on instagram right now Uh, some videos and i don't know i always kind of like we're really just trying to do this in a way that we as horror fans like having shit done we we like special features we like we're filming every part of this We're, we're even doing a podcast in real time while we're making the movie so we can release a podcast about making the movie afterwards Ooh, that's um, cool. like we're, we're we're trying to do this in a cool way yeah that's a very cool idea i like that that's cool that's awesome yeah that's awesome jose right, so i think be- jose i think we might have to make it to tennessee at some point sometime soon <laughs> i'm down if we make it, man, we're going to be shooting in um, in late April uh, into early May. Ooh. And, yeah, I mean, we're going to be looking for all the help we can get, so you boys are welcome to join. Fucking kill me, bro. <laughs> 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 okay, Jose, your character is you're a straight man, but you need to jerk off another man for $500,000. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Well, these ex- religious extremists watch and judge you. But but okay. the part the, like like the part is unpaid. Like, <laughs> did they judge me good? Did I score high? <laughs> no, they just kind of look at you and go, "Look at that guy jerking that guy off for money." Oh, that guy's awesome. The Lord wouldn't jerk anyone off for money. Well, yeah, the Lord do it for free. I'm just saying. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 the Lord ain't jerking anyone off. <laughs> oh no! Jigsaw? It's turning jigsaw, into jigsaw. Here? <laughs> <laughs> if not, I'm Jigsaw from the stop. South. Now. <laughs> Just stop. God ain't jerking anyone oh, off. And so what? Uh, what? Real quick, uh, I don't know if you want to hang out for the for the game or not, but uh, what should we be watching? Like, what's the, what's the cool new shit that's out now? What should we be watching? Oh God! Um, so a movie that I really, really like. Uh, so modern horrors, we we tend to um, curate around the the independent stuff. I think it's way, way, way better than what's seen in theaters right now. And most of people that say horror sucks now is because they're watching shit that's in theaters. Yeah, fuck um, the theaters. F- fuck them. Um, so they uh, there's a movie called Pledge that's out, and it is really, really mean. Whenever I watched Pledge, uh, I, I I actually backed that movie on Kickstarter myself. Whenever I watched it, I was like, holy shit, this is a, they're doing a lot of things that we were kind of wanting to do in, in God Country. Way different subject matter. Theirs is about like uh, fraternity hazing and stuff like that. Uh, savage, savage movie. Uh, Pledge, you should definitely check out. Nice. Oh, my. Uh, there's another movie coming up. Uh, I, I, I think I know where it's going to premiere, but I can't say just yet. Uh, but it's going to be a, a really big festival. Um, it's called Arctic. And the whole idea, and this deals, this will probably appeal to your your audience, that the whole idea, and there's there's a trailer for this on Modern Horrors, A R T I K. Uh, it's this guy who has been obsessed with comic books his entire life to the point where he is uh, obsessive about finding a real superhero. So him and his son go out and kidnap these people and torture them uh, in hopes that they can get them to reach a level of like superhuman being or something like that. Jesus. Oh, man. <laughs> um, and at the same time, there's this side story of like this straight edge guy that, that meets the son by happenstance by working on their farm or something that kind of finds out what's going on and tries to intervene. And it looks fucking radical, man. Uh, 
re- true like crossover horror comic kind of stuff. Dig oh. it. Dig that. Yeah, that sounds cool. And now we were talking uh, earlier this week, the four of us, about um, that child's play. Mm, yeah. Make the trailer for that. I think it's bullshit. Yeah, it looks like <laughs> shit. You think so? Just because, like, Kids' relationships with toys is so different now. But, but I, I don't I, I think know if you get a, that it a plays. kid young enough, like the Alex in the original, kids still have relationships with toys. Right, but like, not kid not kids that kid's age. Yeah, right. Like yeah. Jax is all about those goddamn Power Rangers. He he doesn't necessarily snuggle with it at night, but But would he be if his dad wasn't a giant nerd that loved Power Rangers? Well, <laughs> sure, sure. Like in general, society is moving away from the old school toys of it all. But I, I still think that that's my biggest problem with the new child's play trailer is the kid looks too old and part He's of He's gonna be driving in two weeks. <laughs> part part of the suspense of the original was all the adults just think Alex is just pretending he's just making this shit up because he's a little kid with a doll. And you're not going to get that with, you know, Johnny going off to college, <laughs> who is as old as Aubrey Plaza. It's a- <laughs> <laughs> you see uh, uh, Paperboy's in that, though. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Paperboy's getting a lot of work, man. Good for him. Yeah. Yes, so I actually know um, uh, someone pretty close to the cast on that one, and I- I've actually seen the doll, the, an- the like the legit animatronic doll that they're using in the remake. It's pretty fucking radical. Yeah. Animatronic, um, huh? Good for them. Okay, yeah, that's I mean, cool. Respect. They, I mean, legit. These guys are huge fans of the original, regardless of like what's been going around. Uh, because yeah. I don't know if you guys know, but like Mancini has. A, a child's play show hitting sci-fi as well right so that that so all of this timeline is just getting all fucked up but the the the, the one that orion pictures is doing the new one that is a, i mean there's no voodoo there's no charles lee ray it's all like ai driven which sounds lame as fuck at the surface um but i don't know after watching the trailer aside from the man being in his mid-40s uh it, it did <laughs> look it I, I thought it looked pretty cool the ending's gonna be like that simpsons treehouse of horrors where they just need to switch the the doll from evil to good <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean the, the thing is like the child's play movies like one two and honestly three like where they go to like the uh the boarding school with the war games yeah, yeah, the yeah. Military military school. Camp. Yeah. yeah that one was fucking awesome i thought um but then like bride and seed uh like those those are fucking terrible man and like if, if that's what the original team is doing like i'm not interested in that yeah, you just and lost one of our listeners, already- though. Kristen Allen just just turned off the podcast because <laughs> she loves those awful Chucky movies. I mean, they were really cool when I was twelve. Like they just haven't really you know aged well. The Child's Play three. One of the scenes that messed me up the most is when he just slices the dude's Achilles heel because he's hiding under the bed. Yeah, like, that's terrible. No, the one the one that gets me and I still remember about is when he fucking tosses that grenade out into all these assholes like playing paintball wars <laughs> yeah yeah oh, and the God. one fucking nerd guy's like shit and fucking just dives on it and saves everybody <laughs> yeah i mean that's, that's a cool movie man um i don't know maybe the sci-fi show will go back to that but i mean the important thing here is that really these are two very very different movies like for a oh, long time yeah. like chucky and child's play like kind of meant the same thing to different people um, like, you know, like if you said, Hey, what's this movie? And, and you show someone child's play, they're probably going to say Chucky. Cause that's mm-hmm, what they know. Mm-hmm, sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But now because of this split between like this sci-fi TV show and this Orion, you know, feature film, like Chucky and child's play are very, very different things for the first time. And that's, that's pretty interesting. That because kinda- they- now the TV show is in the old continuity, correct? It is. Yeah. With the original team, like Brad Dourif's with it. Um, Mancini's with it. Like I mean, everyone is. Man, people can't keep track of who's still Spider-Man. Like, that's going to confuse <laughs> so many people. Uh, for sure, yes. <laughs> yeah, but Where I feel like... Maguire go? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel like people who really love Child's Play, they, they get it. They get the difference between the two. Yeah, oh, for we're... sure, for sure. But, like, oh, John Q. Q. Public doesn't. Yeah, John Q. Public, you fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah, Johnny flipping through the channels on his cable. I ain't gonna know what the hell's going on. Yeah, fucking Johnny Cable Flipper over there. <laughs> hey, Chucky's <Yeah>. on. <laughs> oh god. That's but that's awful. literally what they're calling the show is Chucky. Like the name of the show is Chucky. A good way Ew. to differentiate. Yeah. Because because Orion owns child's can't play. Be, you can't, can't use it. Can't call it child's play, right? Yeah. Sure. 
Yeah. Oh wow! I just imagine like fucking. Oh shit! Is this uh, that Rugrats kid all growing up? <laughs> 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 fucking Finn's through the house. All right. Well, man, do you want to hang out and uh, do our bullshit game with us, or are you gonna head out and do uh, you know, sleep things? Yeah, I'm gonna head out. I wish I could do sleep things, but I'm probably just gonna do more crowdfunding campaign things. Um, I, respect I mean, that as well, sir. Hustle, I gotta tell man, you, it's, it, it is a a hustle day in and day out doing this thing. So anyone that's ever maybe done one of these themselves, uh, props to you. This, this shit is not easy. Yeah, we talked to a lot of people uh, that have done this kind of stuff for you know comics and shit like that, and it just it's a fucking grind, man. So. There's, on pe- you there's like there. comic creators we know that do Kickstarters like continuously. They like, finish regularly. Like every yeah, they just they have always have one going. No, no, thank you. Yeah, that's that's a level of hustle I know for a fact I don't have. No, but you guys look like you're killing it, and we'll we'll keep supporting you, keep tweeting out the links, and and hopefully people uh, will listen and will uh, donate and be a part of it. Cool. Thank you guys so much. I really, really appreciate the time and uh, you just bullshitting with me and talking about Chucky movies. It's a lot of fun. Man. <laughs> you're, you're part of the family. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Have a good night. Later. Up. Have a good one. Kill me, bro. And Kill me, bro. The, the, uh, the, the video on their crowdfunding campaign really looks great. And yeah, Luke, it looks really good. Luke is just looking handsome as ever. So good for that guy. Yeah, fucking doing all right, man. Doing all right. Doing okay. Getting, getting Is Kill Me, Bro, the horror movie version of Step on Me? It might be. It might be. <laughs> <laughs> fucking meant to. I just, man, like, if you got a couple bones to throw at it, toss them a couple bones, spread the word, because, like, I want to do this. It's, it looks so fun. It's going to be so fun, you guys. It's yeah. going to be great. Um, a lot of heart in it, and man, and if you've not seen it, if you've not seen the trailer that they got up there, just go go check it out. Because like you're not, I can't imagine seeing that and not wanting to see more of it. It looks fucking great. Yeah, and, and now kind of knowing the idea that this this person, whoever this person is, is creating like torture devices, and that's why the Bible's wrapped in razor wire that's that's a next level like i don't i didn't want to say oh it's kind of like you know religious saw but i don't want to reduce it to that but no 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 all the stuff all the things that they use um are like actual like ancient medieval oh, era devices like some stigmata like shit, shit that exists in real life that's very cool like one of the things that they've got that that, that i've seen and they've shown is this um it's um Basically, like a bar stool. Uh, with Go just a, on. Just a big point on it, and they just sit dudes asshole first onto this point on this fucking stool. Like, and that's some shit that they did back like in the dark ages and shit like that. Like, that's just Thursday. Yeah, it's <laughs> fucking awful. And what what is like? That's just torture because you've been fucking up, or is that supposed to cure you something? Or I don't know about any of that. But like, uh, it, it's, it's uh, probably like Inquisition shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably like, you know, hey, uh, if you just uh, tell us you're a witch, um, we'll pull this stool out of your asshole. <laughs> and uh, then you'll get to go to heaven. <laughs> you know? Yeah, lots of really gnarly shit like that. That's all, it's, you know, they have, to, it's, they have to build it, but it's all inspired by real stuff, which is pretty cool. And, um, um, as a person who I one time went to a torture museum, so I've seen some pretty horrible shit. So I'm excited to see some of that stuff uh, made into movies because there's some people have been inventing horrible ways to hurt other people for a very long time. They have a small torture museum at the uh, Renaissance Fair by me. It's it's a fucking trip, man. Cause yeah, it's uh, one of those macabre things. Like I'm super into this, but you're like, oh yeah, but people died because of this. I've been to like a torture fucking... museum a few times, uh, but then we stopped going to Wizard World shows. Ah, <laughs> got him. <laughs> See, it, it would have you would have gone the full like Andrew Dice Clay if you would have said like, <laughs> if I go, but I stopped saying going to my in laws' house. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! It tickles me that Kelly knows Andrew Dice Clay. <laughs> <laughs> tickles me. To no end. <laughs> oh, fantastic. So yeah, man. Um, I know we're gonna spend a lot of time doing that. So I didn't have a whole lot prepped. Um, 
we can launch into the game once Jose gets back. Anybody sure. got anything else you want to throw out there of great import? Uh, I can talk about my Thursday. <laughs> oh, talk please about do, it. Kelly. Let, get the demon off your chest. All right. So this past Thursday was uh, quite a day. So, you know, my alarm goes off at 8. I'm like, yeah, you know, I think I'm just going to sleep in a little bit. So I just roll over. And I sleep for like 20 minutes. Grab my phone, you know, look, see what time it is. My mom walks in my room and goes, all right, good, you're up. The basement's full of water. Oh. Like, oh, okay. So I get up, you know, go look in the basement. And there's just water bubbling up from these cracks we have in the basement floor. Turns out our sump pump stopped working. And since we'd gotten a shit ton of snow and then it suddenly got warm, there's a whole shit ton of water that needs to go somewhere. And a bunch of the water decided, hey, I need to go in this house. (laughs) (laughs) It's cold outside. Let me in. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. So, you know, the water's just bubbling up and it's starting to... It's not like, you know, ankle deep or anything. It's just, at best, half an inch, maybe. Not even that. But it's enough that all the boxes that are in the basement are now wet. Uh... You know, everything on the bottom layer is wet. So it, then it becomes the race against time to dig through everything and pull out the shit and see if it's you know soggy or it needs to be thrown away or whatever. So I'm working on that, going through, cleaning up. Yeah, my mom's basement uh, had flooded from pretty much the day they moved into the house they live in now. Oh, wow, fantastic. Uh, and there is no sump pump option. That's not a thing. So they just had to like for the longest time they were like yeah we like we had a shop vac that we would just basically just suck up water and pump it out. And, yep. then some, and then at some point, after I moved out, they were like, fuck it. I'm just going to let it go. Just let it and ride. So, <laughs> now they're just, you know, I mean, they rent the house. So not like they got to worry about it. But, like, I'm sure it's all just moldy and killing them slowly. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. No. But yeah, whatever. So we get a plumber to come out. He, you know, he's going to replace the sump pump. And he tells me, he's like, hey, you know, I'm surprised it didn't happen sooner. Because uh, this old one you got here, there's some car parts in here. What? And we we're like, what? I go, what? And he's like, yeah, this this is like a radiator cable, like a hose. I'm like, how? And he goes, I don't know why this is here. <laughs> and that's just been like that forever. So that was from before we lived in the house. So I don't know when that happened because it, before we lived in the bottom uh, part of the duplex, my great grandparents lived there. Started so from this, the bottom, now we're here. Exactly. So this house has been owned by my family for years. So I don't know when this happened. <laughs> so what? someone someone installed Who was fucking put- someone installed a sump pump with car parts uh to kind of fix it. Yeah, that's the thing. It's either they tried to it was to a repair job or they're just like fuck it, I'm going to make my own sump pump. <laughs> <laughs> what so- what's the worst that could happen? So, because and anyone that was here when that was would have been installed is dead now, so I can't ask anybody. So it's like, well, all right, cool. So you know, he replaces that. And have you guys ever had a sump pump replaced in your house? No, no. It smells like sharpies. <laughs> it's <laughs> fucking weird. Yeah, I love because you know, I'm just working. I'm working in the basement while he's on the other side of the basement, and it's just the entire bottom of the house just smells like there's fucking. 10 open sharpies under my nose i can't decide if that's unpleasant or kind of rad I'm it's sniffing. weird yeah does it come with the cool feeling if yeah you i'm sniffing a sharpie, sharpie right now it doesn't i will say that it doesn't oh well in just, that case that's just annoying yeah it's just weird that's a fucking ripoff yeah so guy finishes up and he you know i, I pay him and he goes well you know i i I'd tell you to have a good rest of your day, but he kind of looks around and goes, you know. (laughs) Oh, God! (laughs) Jesus Christ! Well, I get it, because he's probably encountered that situation more than a few times where someone's basement is flooded, he's come come to fix it, and then he's like, have a good day, and they're like, yeah, I'm going to have a fucking great day, thanks a lot. So he's learned. (laughs) Yeah, I I once walked into a CVS um, at 1.30 in the morning, I walked up to the register uh, with a uh, Diet Coke and a morning after pill. <laughs> <laughs> and later on the counter was like, how's your night going? And I go, I mean, not just like an asshole, but how do you think it's going? <laughs> What's happening here? <laughs> like 
not great. Also, I have a coupon for the morning after pill. Hang on a second. <laughs> Maybe she thought you were pre-gaming. Yeah. You had a, a, a frequent flyer card for the morning after pill. Punch like, card. Can, can I get this yeah. punched, please? I get one free so, sub. <laughs> so, free so, sub. <laughs> so the guy leaves, and I start throwing stuff away. Now, also, mind you, uh, at this point, our garbage hadn't been picked up in nearly two weeks because... Oh, right. Because you've it had was fucking winter the cold, Yeah, the cold days, so the garbage men weren't operating, and this Just was buried our, supposed to be garbage pickup day. But our can was full, so I had to grab the other one we have and kind of wheel that out. So I fill that up and start wheeling it to the curb. I have so much shit in it, it's not all the way closed. So the wind catches the lid and mm. smashes it into my face and as that happens kelly the bag that's in the, gar- the on the top of the garbage rips open and vhs tapes come flying out of it into the driveway and street kelly yeah <laughs> jesus <laughs> so i at this point my glasses are all bent up from getting smashed in the face oh my glasses yeah so <laughs> <laughs> my glasses are bent to the point where it makes me woozy and gives me a headache to wear them. So I call my mom. She takes oh, me. Oh no! Yeah, she, my mom takes me Not to the to Wisconsin Vision. They luckily are able to bend them back into place. And I also made an appointment for that uh, last Saturday to get an eye appointment because I had not been to the eye doctor since 2015. And boy, howdy, are, is my vision not great? Apparently. <laughs> uh, so I also notice on my glasses that there's a crack in the frame. So once we get home, and you know, it's it's all bent back into shape. I've actually this is the best shape my glasses have been in in a while. So I super glue the crack. I go, okay, cool. So you know, wait a little while, put the glasses back on, and then my eye just starts burning. <laughs> I super glued my fucking eye shut. Oh no, <laughs> we were been nearly there. there. Yeah, we were nearly there. Uh, it was still wet, so the fumes were just burning my eyes. And it had stuck to my face a tiny bit, but oh, I'd gotten Kelly. it off in time. So I just had Kelly. to go wash the glue off of my face. So after that, uh, my night is consisting of wiping up the rest of the wet and kind of moving a fan around the basement. to dry. So like I, once I finally got everything as dry as I could with the little like spongy mop thing we had, Jeez. that's when I, that's when I was just moving the fan around to kind of fan things down. So I'd go down like every hour or so and move it to a different area. Around nine o'clock when I'm running downstairs, somehow, I don't know if I suddenly got taller or what, <laughs> but I smashed my head on the doorway going into the basement and almost knocked myself unconscious. God. I don't know how I did that. Kelly, I'm li- so glad you're here. I've lived in this house for over a decade. I've never done that before. <laughs> I'm really glad you made it here tonight, Kelly. I really am, too. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Thanks for that, being alive. <laughs> yeah, that day was trying to take it out of me. So at that yeah. point, I just said, you know what? I turned off the fan, shut off all the lights, and just went to bed. <laughs> God damn, uh, son. <laughs> And then everything was pretty okay after that. Except for today. Oh, today it snowed a whole bunch, so that was shitty. Sometimes Ooh. you just have those days that are like that, but yeah, I feel oh, like yeah. Kelly's had a few of those recently. It's <laughs> winter, man. That's what get the fuck out of Wisconsin. Yeah, it's real trash here. Just saying, man. Yeah. I don't know no, where to suggest that you go, because I wouldn't say Florida. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of turning hellscape everywhere soon. You know, I, I I've had this discussion about like yeah, uh, like everywhere's got some winter, some weather. Like it's if it's not, you know, like hey, California's great. Nah, bitch, California's on fire. Like, yeah, there's, there's something like, and you know, we and we get here the occasional tornado, like and, and that's <laughs> it's a real problem. Uh, but you know. You're pretty much guaranteed a shitload of snow. Yeah. And you're pretty much guaranteed it's going to get like down the fucking way too cold to be alive. Oh, yeah. So, you know, I'm, I'm okay with t- t- taking my chances. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's intense. Yeah, that was uh, a day and a half, I'll say. That was, boy, howdy. Oof, man. Such a, such a day. Yeah, 
Such a day. <laughs> I'm glad you made it, man. I am too. It was the way I see it is it was the uh, the trial I had to face before I can come to New York. Yeah, like you're gonna get <laughs> to New York. You're gonna I be made like, it through that. You're, yeah, you're gonna fucking... you're gonna be picking fights with bums. You're you're yep. you don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> Kelly's going to be watching my back. the trash can last yeah. week, motherfucker. I'll be the one going up to bums and say, I'll knock you out. <laughs> and they'll, they'll and say, they'll please, say don't. please don't. <laughs> and I will laugh. <laughs> Thanks for having my back there, Jose. <laughs> I, I, I did. I did. Silently. I never took my eye off that motherfucker. <laughs> if shit went down, I was there. I laughed to fucking help lower his guard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no one expects the laughing man. Exactly. I like it. What'll be really cool is when we're running around the city and taking pictures of toys, because people will be real interested in what we got going on. Sure. Yep. Mm -hmm. What's even going to be more interesting is when we actually have to physically run through New York because they're after us for our toys. <laughs> <laughs> what? What do you think? What? <laughs> they coming for us, man. We got to get back to Coney Island, man. Guess so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, we should got, go to Coney Island. Got to bop our way back. Everything is so fucking far away from each other in New York. <laughs> yeah, I was, trying to, I was doing some plotting uh, the other day, and I'm like, man, like, it's just... But here's the thing. The, the, Manhattan is like... Seven miles or some shit like that. It's not like it's big, but it's just you got to account for the New York of it all. Yeah, yeah. I've I've got a few different Google Maps open with little chunks of grouped destinations. You know, like so it, that like we can we can like tackle these four things and then decide where we want to go from there. Nice, you guys. I'm so excited to go to that Nintendo store. Oh yeah, the fucking Nintendo store. Thank you, you for no reminding idea. me. I still don't know how we didn't do that last year. Because you guys didn't it, even know it fucking existed, I thought. I had no idea. Yeah, because if if I knew there was a fucking Nintendo store, we would have been up in that motherfucker. I looked up their exclusive shirts, and I need them. Well, there you go. Well, I, someone's... I need, a new Don I need a new Donk City shirt. Someone's got a birthday coming up in two days. I oh, do. Yeah. Ooh. Good thing you live to see it. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, added Nintendo Store to my Google Map that has like Madison Square Garden and the the hotel and shit. And it's like, yeah, oh yeah, sure, ZD Road, Fuyang, Hangzhou. Yeah, is that the one you want to go to? And then uh, the fucking Google Maps zoomed out so far, I could see the full globe. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yes, obviously, this is the one I plan on going to. <laughs> Thank you, Google. Um, I had a hard time finding it, too, but it's, it's in Rock Soda it. Plaza. Awesome, awesome, perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah. Good time. Gonna oh, we're going to be on 30 Rock? Yep. Yeah. Man, who's going to be Tracy Morgan? <laughs> Jose. <laughs> you got a ball. Jose's going to take oh. you behind 30 Rock and get you pregnant. <laughs> oh, that's a promise. <laughs> It's gonna be fun, you guys. Fucking flying out, and I'll be, I'll be there. We'll be fucking what? Jesus Christ! Forty eight hours. We'll be there together. Everybody hanging out, doing smooching. It's gonna be good. Yeah. Oh, Just man. remember, if anybody hands you shit, you touch it. You bought it. Don't nope. touch it. Don't touch and not touching anything. I learned some pretty cool new chokes this week, Kelly. You're, you're gonna be okay. Woo! I got you. Got you covered. It's gonna be all right. Choke out, Elmo. Yeah. <laughs> Right. We got anything else? We're gonna move on to the game. Uh, yeah, let's fucking do it up. Fucking man. do the game. I, need, I have a man. Kelly needs to watch Matrix so he can better judge my players. <laughs> I, I, just, I, I just don't think he gets it. All three are on Hulu. I, I would. Uh, to be fair, though, Jose, he could watch the first Matrix and be fine. Okay, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking get to watch it, homie. No, but like, seriously, Kelly, it's like fucking it's anime. The it Matrix, really is. The Matrix is yeah. live action anime. <laughs> watch the first one and be done with it. Okay. 
I'm if not you a like it, by any means, but the ending, you know what? The ending is so confusing. Uh, it is very anime. Now that you mention it, it really is. If you end up liking it, I would watch the second one. Stay far away from the third one. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Ne- never watch the third one. <laughs> and and honestly, you can even do your homework during half the second one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like like like. The first one, all of it is fantastic, great, classic, stands the test of time. The second one is half good. There's three or four good eh. action set pieces that are worth watching. Right. For as much good, there's there's bad. And then the third one is just unredeemable. Yeah, it's fucking strange. Jose's first- childhood died. At that point in the burly brawl where everything turned to CGI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, once the burly brawl happened, like like that burly brawl scene, that is the fucking uh, bathroom scene in the fucking was go lo- on. The, the you know what I'm talking about the fucking uh, what Wolverine Origins oh, the shitty yeah. bathroom scene oh, yes. and then the movie was never the same. The Roger right. Rabbit claws. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yep. All right. So let's get into it, man. So All right. Didn't the Pop Winter fucking... Games. Oh, here we go. Let the games begin. Game two. Curling. Mixed doubles. So again, just to uh, make sure we're all aware of the rules. Uh, curling is like shuffleboard, but on ice. Two people per team. One curler to slide the stone. One sweeper to sweep. Team take turns sliding heavy polished granite stones toward the house. Uh, a tight, a target with four concentric circles. Each team has eight stones, each player throwing four. Points are scored for the stones resting closest to the center of the house. There you go. So, chess on ice. <laughs> chess on ice. Uh, Juggler John uh, said it on Twitter, and I actually did it today. Uh, he watched a bunch of curling videos on YouTube just to... To, just to learn the game, learn the ins and outs to get a strategy together. And I did the same thing. Yo, shit. curling rules. Like, I watched a whole bunch of it uh, one year during the Winter Olympics when it would be on at, like, 5.30 in the morning before I'd go to school. Wasn't there I something think... like the U.S. – one of the women's curling teams was, like, super hot? One of my favorite parts about curling is that, like, you get to see and hear them, like, strategizing and yelling at each other. You're like, you know, the guy's, someone guy's squatting down, looking. He's like, we gotta make sure we got swimming over here. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so, uh, my team representing uh, Mo Tanui is uh, your winners um, Maui the Demigod and Iron Man. Uh, Juggalo John's team is rocking with uh, Yakko Warner and Impulse, Bart Allen, uh, Coach Cat doing uh, Donald Duck and Min- uh, Minnie Mouse. A la Kingdom Hearts. Uh, Vetter is doing uh, from the Haas system, uh, fucking Goofy and Air Bud. <laughs> mm, mwah, rock. I it's love that cute. fucking intro you put on the show today. A plus. Oh, you like that? You like that? <laughs> yeah, that was one of my favorites. They used to play that during Mickey's Christmas Carol, that that Goofy Ghost Scheme short. Yeah, really. Good. <laughs> yep. uh, shark. Uh, tosses us in uh, from the Bushwood Country Club. Uh, John Snow and Albus Dumbledore. Uh, Denim is uh, giving us uh, Peter Parker, Spider Man, and Mr. Fantastic. Uh, Joe Wang, uh, Evil Superman from Superman 3 and Lord Voldemort. Uh, Nyes, uh, Black Panther, and Darth Vader. From the south side of Wakanda. Don't forget that. South side of Wakanda. No disrespect. Uh, representing Zion, Jose's got Neo and Sub Zero, and they both brought jackets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sub Zero doesn't really need a jacket. No, he Sub-Zero. brought one just in case you guys pulled some bullshit. <laughs> now, if he was Scorpion, I'd say yeah, put a jacket. You're gonna on need a face. jacket. Yeah, fucking a. Shark couldn't share this in the chat, but he just sent me a message, and he he sent an image, and he says actual image of Jose's team doing anything in the Winter Olympics, and it's Neo and Trinity <laughs> laying down in the, the chairs where they're jacked into the Matrix, and they just look like, like they're asleep. That's fucking funny. That's fucking funny. Uh, 
Uh, da, da, da. Uh, Kelly's team from the center of the earth is going to be uh, Michael Jordan and Batman. Uh, and then Coach uh, Kefinzel. Kefin I don't know. I apologize. Jim Caviezel. Jim Caviezel, yes. Yeah, Jesus Christ himself. <laughs> uh, representing Arsatska is going to be uh, Kwai Chang Kang from uh, Kung Fu and Captain Goddamn Planet. Which he's our hero. I did not realize until last week that Warner Brothers bought up all that Turner stuff. And until Captain he, oh, Planet. Yeah. Captain Planet, that he's a gamer, man. Like that he has a lot of abilities. A lot of powers. Very yeah. But I was thinking about like uh I was after the fact I'm like fucking for as good as you know, I was digging on Race Bannon and, and Brock Sampson, like, why are they even fucking in this? And then but sure as shit, like all the Turner stuff, all the Hanna, Hanna Barbera, uh, and Turner, that all that's all under Warner Brothers now. I didn't yep. realize. So yeah, now we know. So yeah, all right. So <clears throat> my team's gonna smoke this fucking event because you've got Tony Stark with the most advanced targeting system, uh, not only in this fucking group of Melvins. <laughs> But on planet fucking Earth, I'm like he's gonna know exactly how hard to throw that fucking rock. He's gonna know where to go, and whereas and Maui's more of a brute force, not exactly known for his precision, and I, I I recognize that, I understand that. The flip side happens the same way. Maui's throwing that fucking rock down, and you got Iron Man who is knows exactly how to sweep, where he's gonna go to alter the surface exactly right, so that bitch goes as close to the middle. Or wherever it's supposed to go. I'm assuming it's the middle. Uh, every single time that big muscle bound bastard chucks that thing down there. Uh, question Is Maui wearing a coat? No, it's a demigod. <laughs> is he wearing shoes so he's just standing on the ice barefoot? Yeah, you're right. Because he's a fucking man's man. He's from, from a Does fucking. Does Maui have <laughs> any previous knowledge of how cold feels? <laughs> yeah. He He's a tropical people. Yeah, but he also swims in the ocean. It gets chilly out there at night. Has he ever been snow? <laughs> yeah, he or, should know, he be. Could also, he if should... he decides, oh, fuck this, it's cold, he can use his magical fish hook and turn into a polar bear. Perfect. And now, I love it. And now he's a polar bear throwing the rock down there with his good buddy Iron Man compensating for any kind of polar bear butt fuckery that might happen <laughs> and fishing it so it goes in the right spot. I'm sure he would be a good polar bear, like one of them Golden Compass polar bears, voiced by Liam Neeson. Absolutely, like knows maybe, what it's uh, doing. One them, maybe one of them, uh, them sexy uh, Coca Cola. Uh, Ooh, polar sexy Coca Cola polar bear. Yeah, it's good. It's a good polar bear. I like that one. Um, you know, and the the competition isn't like the fucking best here. What? Uh, I'm, I'm I'm just saying, you got fucking. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's save that for once, everybody. Let's save it we'll save it we'll save it because because like kelly we'll said it. kelly said our our argument shouldn't be against the other teams right off the bat it's it's you're pitching your team touche it is a gentleman's game after all you're correct <laughs> i'm full of good points <laughs> full of good points speaking of good points let me talk about my team you got kelly that's what we call a segue in this i business. like it in the business all right so let me tell you about my two friends, Michael Jordan and Batman. What are they good at? <laughs> that is the fucking stupidest team of all time. <laughs> like, but fucking you know, Warner Brothers should seriously make that. Like, they yeah. made Space Jam. They should make fucking Bat Jam. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, you know what they're both good at? Being precise. Yes. You know what you need in a game like this? You need to be precise. You got... Uh, Michael Jordan, going back to his roots, throwing the rock. <laughs> his roots. But it's nice. a different kind of rock this time. It's an actual rock. So he, you know, he slides that down. Is this uh, really his roots? <laughs> Basketball. Oh no! I'm just yeah. That's his roots. They call it the rock when yeah. you throw it. Pass me okay. the rock. Okay. Okay. All right. No, I got him. I got yeah. you. You didn't think I meant the television series Roots, did you? <laughs> not for a second, Kelly. Okay. <laughs> like, not for Just a to be clear, though, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
what? so michael michael jordan's the one that that pitches the thing and then uh you know batman he knows exactly how much he needs to brush down that ice to make it go oh exactly my where God. he wants to go i bet this, he does this fucking visual of batman just <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Brushing the shit out of ice. Oh, he's brushing the shit out of that ice because he knows exactly how much he needs to brush that shit down. And that's how they get a bullseye or whatever the fuck you call it when it's in the middle every time. The end. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. All, right. all right, what you got, Nyes? All right, let's see here. My team is Black Panther and Darth Vader, uh, two of the just darkest Nubians in these Winter Olympics. Nubian gods. So they my... don't like cold. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> you see what? You ever see snow in Wakanda? Uh, yeah, in fucking uh, like half the movie takes place. Wondagore uh, Mountain, the Gorilla Mountain. Yeah, yeah. What's the fuck? What's that dude's name? Is he the? It, and does he live there? He's, He's fucking, fucking uh, Mbaku and all his boys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he fucking lives Is in Mbaku Wakanda. Play in this game. Yeah, but he he's the king, so he knows his whole kingdom. And Black, why you Black think Panther he put his house near the there. sun? <laughs> <laughs> let, let me get let me get to my mark. We're gonna be here. paying for this for uh, the next several weeks. <laughs> my team has the best combination of abilities for this specific event. Darth Vader can not only control the speed and direction of the curling stone with incredible precision by way of the Force, ever heard of it, but he can communicate telepathically with his teammate. In the game of chess on ice, Vader has a knack for strategy and can anticipate his opponent's moves via precognition. Black Panther is the peak athlete of this entire Winter Olympiad. What if Usain Bolt had superpowers and a highly advanced cat suit how would that look <laughs> right here we got black panther his kitty claws add extra traction and control on the ice Meow. and his speed and agility agility allow him to move across the ice with ease and sweep that stone like he's at showtime at the apollo his reign <laughs> as the king of wakanda makes him an expert tactician as well it's chess on ice, remember. I refuse to acknowledge that it's ever been called chess on ice, but okay. No, 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 no. No bullshit. Like, so Zero said that in the description, and then that video I watched today was like, oh, yeah, chess on ice. It's like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling with that one. It confirmed it. Nope. Fuck everything about that, but okay. What you got, Jose? Okay. We want to talk about aim, accuracy. There is no one better than Neo himself. And after last week's, I don't want to say robbed. You did get robbed. But let's just say after last week's not placing, they studied real hard. <laughs> he plugged in they fucking real hard to in. figure this game out. <laughs> and you want to talk about somebody who knows the ins and outs of something. Neo knows the ins and outs, and he knows exactly how the ice feels. He knows how it tastes. He knows everything about that course. And then you got Sub-Zero. You want to talk about somebody who can fucking sweep some ice? <laughs> <laughs> the motherfucker makes it out of the palms of his hands. He will stroke that ice so gently as if it was his own he was stroking. And that fucking little well-thrown, perfectly aimed, well-timed, Almost perfect everything. You want to talk about some points being scored. And they're just knocking. They're, they're handling their business. All right. All right. I like it. I think the bureau is going to be your, your powerhouse. Don't, yeah, it's not, don't forget. Good. It's a good get. Don't forget I voted for you last week, Jose. And I as well. <laughs> All I'm saying is there's no way she shouldn't have placed. But continue. We we move on. Sometimes it just didn't doesn't fall. Always forward, Jose. Always forward. That's how it works. Yeah. All right. Um, lots of uh, participation here in the emails. We got sent into the podcast at panelsonpages.com. 
Uh, Juan writes in Winter Sports Round 2. He says, first of all, <clears throat> regarding last week, I call shenanigans on Rogue being tossed out and not being a contender. Melvin. Melvin. <laughs> uh, Uncle Scrooge walks with a cane, and where the hell do you find skis for web feet? Nah, that's a bullshit argument, son. Have you the ever world watched renowned the adventurer. Yeah, come on. I bet you I could find a clip of S- Scrooge McDuck skiing right now. Yeah, climbing a mountain, no goddamn less. Better be wearing a jacket. Mahoney disqualified bugs <laughs> for interference, and Trinity would be like a Floridian in 60-degree weather in anything under 60 degrees. That makes anyway, no fucking sense to anyway, me. Anyway, on to this week. <laughs> that makes no sense to me. The biggest argument against Trinity is that she's going to be cold. No, that's dumb. That's fucking retarded. You don't think they give you gear? You show me one clip of the Olympics where they sent somebody out naked. Or just wearing a shirt to do this event. The fucking Olympic teams get to the Olympics and they get out on the ice and like, oh shit, no one told me it was going to be cold out here. What the fuck? Ah. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, he writes in some little, some some bits about the competition. Maybe we'll we'll save that for later. Uh, but then as for his team, he says uh, his team of Spider-Man and Mr. Fantastic are the winners because they're going to use their vast knowledge of and science the fuck out of curling. Oh. Uh, using a series of algebraic calculus and other math words I don't know, they can determine the speed, ratio, angles, amount of friction, and strategy needed to win. Which is a fairly solid argument. Uh, I'll give you that one. Okay. Um, uh, Vetter writes in, Who lets the dogs out? Is the subject of his email. For your consideration, curling is a sport of patience and precision. Qualities most of these other teams lack. He says, no magic, so no force. Sorry, Vader and Hogwarts, peeps. And it's not a strength or combat contest. It takes a lot of the competitors' strong traits. So now, on that point, I think you can use the force and magic. Yes, I, I, have, it, I have it confirmed by zero. The stone with your hand. It's like you can't just float it down there with the force, but if he throws it with his hand... After that, I think he can manipulate it. Yeah, confirmed by zero that I could use the force. I made sure to double check. But he has to throw the fucking rock first. Yeah, that's the thing. That's how it begins. Pass me the rock. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Speaking like of basketball. Of basketball. So, MJ, he's proven he only expels in one sports. Ooh. There are only, it, here we go. There are only two multi-sport athletes here, and their names are Air Bud and Goofy. And Air fucking Bud. Neo. Air Bud to speak for himself. A Air Bud's dad. Football, soccer, baseball, and volleyball master. He excels at any sport presented before him, and his precision will be key in sending the stone across the ice with pinpoint accuracy. He's all about angles, techniques, and the perfect touch of speed. This is a dog that can hit a basketball from anywhere using his head. He knows what he's doing. And then there's Goofy. Who does Disney call upon to give an instructional video on how to do any sport, oh, including the, the Winter Olympics? That's the worst argument I ever heard. <laughs> so you're telling me Air Bud's going to headbutt a rock all day? Yeah. Air Bud, I'll accept. Goofy? Mm-mm. Keep going. Keep yeah, going. Goofy. His approach may seem unorthodox, but he always nails it in the end. Most likely twisting himself into a knot and unleashing a cyclone of sweeping to steer the stone into the winter circle and bringing the gold to Hoth. Goofy's still too distraught over the death of his wife. <laughs> oh, God. What the fuck? Well, Air Bud's uh, how, how else stone, is he huh? a single father? Uh, that's a very good point. Oh. <laughs> or God. the wife's alive and he took the son and ran. Oh, God. Goofy's not even his real name. Yeah, that could be. All right, Juggalo John. Gorsh, so yeah. every time I look in your eyes, all I see is your is my wife's dead face. <laughs> okay, Juggalo John says, <laughs> okay, so firstly, my attempt to ask Rob Paulson how good Yakko would be at curling on Twitter didn't pan out. So, <laughs> pretty good. Uh, first off, Yakko will be in the curler position with impulse on sweep. Yakko's skill and finesse and leader tendencies make him greatly suited for this task. His ability to think quickly on his feet and plan ahead to keep him ahead of the competition. Uh, second impulse is a speedster, or in this case, a sweepster. With Bart's speed, he'll be able to reshape the path of the ice to restart a rock, or even make that rock dance on that ice if he wanted to. 
Remember is that powers that move the rock other than a push and sweep are against the rules. You can't kick it, so you can't psychically kick it. And then he uh, has a whole bunch of Can you head uh, notes here on the teams, so we'll do that. We'll go to those in a minute. Not bad. No, not composed, motherfucker. Go back. I want to write an email. Uh, I thought you were about to fucking hit us with a hard beat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see here. Uh, Shark writes in. Is this, uh, the top three are going to be Dumbledore and Snow, Fantastic and Spider-Man, and the Panther and Vader. So Dumbledore mm. and Snow, his team. Dumbledore is a world-famous wizard 10-pin bowler. He has the agility and the knowledge of what it's like to throw a heavy object <laughs> and get it to move on the lane. Uh, bowling and curling. Is that a gay joke? <laughs> yeah. What, what is that supposed to be? <laughs> Somehow I'm offended. <laughs> Uh, Dumbledore comes into the event with an advantage over the competition in this fact alone. That fact being that bowling and curling are similar. Not counting his ability to use a wand to alter the path of the stones. Uh, and then so Jon Snow worked the wall. He fought White Walkers. He also cleaned like a lot. He knows how to use a broom. The Lord Commander told him where to sweep, and he swept it. <laughs> this time Dumbledore would tell him where to sweep, and he will do it. Top three finish. Oh my god! <laughs> That's funny. This motherfucker. No, your boy worked at the janitor for a while. We got this in the fucking bag. You know, but I was going to kind of be like, yeah, what the fuck is Jon Snow gonna do in this besides wear a coat? And then he's like, hey, Jon Snow sweeps up a lot. And I'm, okay, I'll I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Extra yeah. extra point. Uh, Joe Wang writes in. He says nice. uh, they uh, find sorry. him just sweeping pebbles. It was like you. That stroke. So sorry I'm saying <laughs> I'm being in the chat tonight, but as I'm currently away from high speed internet, I'm just sending my plan to hope they go through on time. Uh, basic plan his team is evil Superman and um, Voldemort. This is basic plan Superman will run sweeping first round. His speed will allow him to control Voldemort's distance and curl. Second round, he uses his strength to basically knock the opponent's stones away, clearing the field for only our team to score. And if Voldemort's plane comes into quest, he's English. I guarantee he's played lawn bowls on his day, and those skills should translate. <laughs> the only skills I see giving me, only teams I see giving me any trouble is Lee's and Denim's. Thank you for, for everyone for letting me compete. Love listening every week, Joe Wang. Aw, that's nice. Love it. Aw. Also love the, hey, he's British, so he'll be good at this. <laughs> All right. Uh oh shit! Cat comes in with some fucking visual aids. She says, first, direct your attention to the pics attached." And she sends me a cover to a Donald Duck comic book where this son of a bitch is curling. <laughs> oh what? shit! So Donald Duck had done some curling in his life, so he is the only one who has experience. Well, and Neo, probably. Sure, he may not look like he's doing that well, but isn't that just Donald? Looking like he's doing awful, but clearly isn't doing so awful. Right? Uh, and this uh, second picture is just a picture of many like wearing a fucked up dress sweeping, which is a lot less empowering uh, than Donald. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's as many as the queen she normally doesn't sweep like she's doing in this pic, but she clearly has sweeping down. Uh, who else in these games has curled and swept before? Past experience is winners in the making. Please just hur hurry and give Donald the gold. Maybe silver. Bronze is pushing it. Please, uh, no wooden trophies, though, because he'll burn it in his magical fire of rage. No one wants that. I found another visual aid for Donald Duck, if you want to see. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Duck's Jesus got experience Christ. curling, and he also has experience being a Nazi, apparently, <laughs> Donald Duck. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Oh and my God. as far as I know, the Nazis are banned from Olympic competition, so... That's very true. <laughs> oh, my. Do we have our first disqualification? <laughs> well, no, technically, uh, Kelly got disqualified last week, but yeah. we let yeah. it, we let it and slide. Filling, uh, and that's pretty fucking genius. All right, so, real quick, let's hit these some highlights. Um Ba, 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 ba. All right, so Juan says, uh, ta, 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 ta. Maui and Iron Man have a slight chance. Maui's big, so speed may be an issue. He's not fucking running. Uh, Iron Man has heavy armor, so dexterity may cause a problem. That's fucking stupid. Your arguments are dumb for that. 
Uh, he says Black Panther and Vader are contenders. Uh, yep. He dismisses. Uh, no, he says Donald and Minnie could be contenders as well. Uh, Goofy and Airbud. One is literally named Goofy. Nothing to take serious here. The other one can't even hold a stick to sweep properly in his mouth. Get them the fuck out of here. Yeah, Goofy in those Goofy sports shorts. Sure, he he ends up in the end completing the task that was given him, but he's not winning any sort of competition. He's notoriously terrible at sports. <laughs> like they made a whole series of video of, of anime of cartoons about how bad he is at sports or painting a house or working out or fucking like, you know, or having like, a happy marriage. Yeah, that's that too. Oh, uh, let's see for Yakko and impulse. One goes way too fast. The other likes to do hijinks too much. Uh, John Snow and Albus Dumbledore, a dude who knows nothing and an old man. Get him out of here. Uh, Evil Superman and Voldemort are contenders. Uh, Neo and Sub Zero contenders. So there you go. A little shit talking from Juan. Not too bad. Uh, Vetter was a goddamn gentleman. Decided not to take anybody else down. Like that. Uh, all right. So Juggalo John rides in. Vetter's team has Goofy. So I think he's out. Yeah. <laughs> Cat's team. Not sure if me and Donald can size up the other ones. Uh, Joe Wang's team, uh, strong skill, but their ability to play within the rules are questionable. That's a very good point. But both of these guys are just kind of dickheads. Uh, Nyes' team, he says the force can't be used to move the rock after he lets go. So the uh, best is good. I got I a ruling from the commissioner that you can use the force. So I believe, I would say so too. I think he has to throw it first. Let that didn't right. kind of do some little, some, some fuckery. Yeah. Uh, and Jose says, does Neo count as the same power set as Trinity? Uh, Sub-Zero is eye-shaping, um, but not good enough to go against the speed of Impulse. And Impulse is faster than Neo. Yeah, but what do you need speed for? Speed doesn't matter. You're, th- it's yeah. all about where you... Yeah, are. we're not all curling at the same time. Speed right. Is- and I think that the, 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 the notion of the speedster being a good sweeper is a solid argument. I like yeah, that. Because the, uh, the, the faster you sure. sweep, the, the, the smoother means Sub-Zero it is. automatically sucks. Because right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it says, my team will be top five, maybe not gold. Uh, Denim says, I don't think any of their skills would help in curling for Denim's team. Uh, Shark's team, Dumbledore is a powerful player, but moving the rock other than push or sweep is caught by the refs. See, but again, I, that's, that's, that's faulty logic, John. Uh, Kelly's team skilled in their own fields, but not enough to best the powers on display. Top three against Normies. Uh, and then um, Kavinsel's team, the firepower of Captain Planet and Kane Sonest put them in the top six. But not gold. See, I think that. See, I think I would let the notion of using the force or magic slide before I would melting the ice. That seems like some fuckery. Yeah, yeah, because you can't. Yeah. Fu- but here's the other thing: is we're not competing. Like your turn throws the rock, my turn throws the rock. So if you melt the ice, you fuck up the whole game. That's illegal. You can't fuck the course up. Well, I mean, yeah. we are competing, but yeah, but but it's not. A competitive dual thing. Like you yeah. take turns. All you're trying to do is knock my stone off the bullseye. You're still aiming for the bullseye, but you can't melt the field. That's like Yeah, but I'm you, gonna make the basketball hoop disappear on your side of the court. You can't fuck with No, I agree with that. But we are going head to head even though we're not exactly in our arguments going head to head. How many of these rocks are out there once? It's just like one team, right? Well, it's supposed to be two teams are going. Two okay, teams are okay. going, and there's, well, there's okay. like six right, rocks, me... I think? Six or eight? Per it's team. Ha- yeah, yeah. Like, each team gets like four. Yeah, one I think team it's each team gets throws, three or four. And the other team goes and tries to knock theirs out and get theirs in. We're not all competing on the same fucking thing. I did not believe so. Okay. They okay. would have had, had to have split us up into teams of two and we kept playing, and then the highest score, or however, okay, so each player will throw happens. four. So, the, so a total of sixteen at most on the ice at once. Okay, good right. to know. But what I'm saying is, is like it's not like basketball or football where we are actually competing, and powers matter. Correct. Head to head. Yeah. I'm no, still no, going to no, throw no, my no. shit. Your guys can be great, but I don't suck any harder because you're fast. Yeah, and that's not to say that that won't be the case later, but in this case, it definitely is. Right. Yeah. 
And so Shark writes in a little bit about uh, Mr. Fantastic and Spider-Man saying that Mr. Fantastic stretching powers that really aren't useful because you have to let the ball go at some point. Yeah. Uh, I can see that. That the smart and can calculate speed and angle. But he says they're a top three finisher. And I don't know that I see that. Oh, no. No, not no, at all. I don't think so. No. Maui and Spider-Man. He says Maui plays from a pride position and will negatively influence his team in this event. And will try to overpower the stone and not listen to, Ma- to Iron Man. See? He didn't watch the fucking movie. He grew by the end of that thing. He's a team player now. I don't think that really holds water either. Try again, Shark. Uh, Vader and Panther, top three finisher. Uh, Vader on Doom Patrol, uh, Broom Patrol, makes his team almost impossible to beat. Add in Panther's agility, they may take the gold. Mm-hmm. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, what do you Donald mean? and Mouse, uh, Donald will get angry when they first get behind. Minnie won't be able to control him. Donald will explode in anger. Minnie will be thinking about what boat to make in her Minnie Mouse boutique. That's fucked up, Shark. Uh, Goofy and Airbud. Airbud pushing the stone, maybe. Uh, Goofy will trip and fall, making contact with the stone. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, that, that team, not not solid yeah. output from that team. Uh, Yakko and Impulse. Impulse on the ice. Yakko will have a great song and dance routine for this event, no matter what else happens. Uh, Evil Superman and Voldemort, he says, made to a top six finish. Too strong of a competition. Uh, Superman will shove the stone way too hard. Voldemort will be upset, losing to Half-Bloods. It could get very dicey here. Uh, ah. This is Neo could download how to play, but that doesn't mean he'll have the physical ability outside of the Matrix. Sub-Zero can't touch the stone. This isn't a physical, but a finesse activity. What happens when uh, Donald Duck meets Wizard Hitler? <laughs> <laughs> Just... Falling all over himself. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. So let's see if we can make some some hard cuts here. Some quick cuts. Um uh right off the bat, uh Goofy Airbud got to go. Get the fuck Melvins. Out. Yes, uh, correct. A couple of Melvins. I also uh do not like Juan's chances, Spider Man. Here's, here's the thing about Airbud. He's talking about how he's a multi sport champion and this and all this other fucking bullshit. One, like, how the fuck's the dog going to sweep, for starters? And then number two, yeah. All Especially if he's headbutting? Like, he should have gone with that chimp <laughs> that played hockey. <laughs> that, that, that motherfucker's got thumbs? Yeah. Yeah. But, like, also, you know, these other games are, like, you know, your, your volleyball, uh, basketball, soccer, games with inflatable light rubber balls. This is a granite rock that this poor dog is going to be running a basket his fucking brains into. That's what to- yeah. No that shit. dog's gonna crisp and wah goofy the rest of Goofy's family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, get the fuck out of here with Goofy and Airbud. A guy notoriously awful at sports and a golden retriever. <laughs> no. Jug- Juggalo John here. in the chat right now is having a fit about using uh you know magic or the force to uh, control a stone. He he watched a lot of curling videos, you guys. <laughs> yeah, he's done his homework for sure. Yeah. Is Darth Vader wearing a jacket? Uh, he was, he's wearing a cape. Yeah, and that whole outfit is climate control. Yeah. You know it. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm not the commissioner. But if the commission says so, I guess. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I guess. I guess. Hey, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Say okay. Say you can magic and and force the fucking rocks or whatever, right? Yes. Say, say you can. You can. That still only gets you halfway there, right? Because you still have to worry about the other team, you know, fucking around and knocking yours out of the way and all this and that. Like, so it's not like just being able to to get it. Like, that's not a guaranteed win for sure. You know. Well, I, and I uh, think we have to look at these events because we're we're talking about not cheating and following the rules, but also we're drafting fictional characters a lot of them superheroes or having superhuman abilities and part of the game is using those abilities otherwise we just got a bunch of regular dudes yeah, I, would have, I would have drafted a real curl yeah exactly, <laughs> exactly yeah so there there is a fine line between what is using the powers that are the reasons we drafted these characters and cheating and it's fucking fantasy. It's fantasy, <laughs> right? So, okay. But I'm with Lee on that. Might help your shot, yes. But somebody goes after you, and has just as bet, just as good of a chance 
to hit your ball out. Like so, the precise kings, Batman and Michael Jordan. See, if it was more of a, like, you shoot once and that was it, right? then I would lean a little more towards now we're cheating because sure. there's no competition. But um, Jordan and Batman are a fucking amazing team. But when you get yeah, down but- to it, they're just... They're just two actually regular dudes. At He's, most, I'll give Michael Jordan Looney Tunes powers. No, no yeah, but but let, let me defend Looney Tunes powers this way. is Even in Looney Tunes world, he sucked in baseball. And <laughs> That's true. Throwing the rock is a lot more like throwing a baseball as compared to shooting a basketball. He's not shooting the rock. The rock has to stay on the ground. Yeah, but you still so have to throwing. be very precise with it. Oh, he can be precise, but he still sucked throwing. He can shoot. If yeah, this see, is I, the Summer Olympics. Yeah, I see Batman walking in here with Michael Jordan being like, this of all the fucking guys. Like, this this is the fucking guy. Like, this guy's going to bring me down in this. All disrespect. Great one. Yeah, great. This is fucking curling. Oh, I'm going to be here sweeping the share of this ice. This guy <laughs> can't fucking throw. Well, and yeah, that's what he's there for. He's going to sweep the shit out of that ice. You can only sweep so much. Like they yeah, swept him back into the basketball. Yeah, I, I would almost I hate to do it, but I, I would I would give a hard cut to uh MJ and Batman. Ooh, on this one. I wouldn't have, but I'll take it. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I'm the only one, then I'm the only one. I'm just uh, saying. What like you, they're they're fucking athletes, so they're up there. I wouldn't yeah, automatically they say they're cut. Doing. For me, yeah, they're on like, the cut. I mean, McGregor is an athlete that's gonna want him to fucking curl. I don't think they're gonna medal. With this yeah. this roster we got. So metal. But I Batman's think, like, uh, but you're going to comic name metal. I got a metal. I think. That's uh, true. Yeah. So I think they got. They, yeah. Actually, they're not gonna, you know what? I think they might. They could possibly metal. I think they could. I think they could. I, I don't know. I'm looking at. I'm looking at the, the roster right now of teams. And after going through all of the debates. It's a I lot would, of Melvins. I would probably put. Me and Jose and Kelly in top three, possibly Shark. And, and no bias because we're on the show, guys. Probably Shark and Joe Wang because they have the Wizards. But the Joe Shark is as evil drunk Superman. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, of, of the two teams, probably Shark. If if we're splitting hairs on wizards, he's but then Shark isn't Jon Snow is essentially useless. Jon Snow can sweep. No, he's got he's you got a sweeping a, like, genius. Extra points for the fact that John <laughs> John Snow sweeps a lot. Yeah, he apparently has the most uh, experience with a broom out of any. Other half of the time, he's got to throw that fucking rock down there, and all. He does- I guarantee <laughs> John Snow John Snow has swept more than Batman has in his lifetime. That's. 1000% true. That's, that's fucking true. Alfred's like, oh, put me in this fucking game. I've been sweeping <laughs> up this fucking co- You throw Batman. I've been sweeping up after you your whole life. Do we think Dumbledore would have the strength to pick up the rock and throw it? Ooh. He doesn't have to throw it. Yes, he does. Well, yes, you don't he have does. To, you don't have to pick you don't anything throw up. You're sliding a it. Curling thing? Yeah, it's you don't... still fucking heavy. No, have... you slide it. You never pick it up. Well, it yeah. Have you ever, Jose, have you ever gone curling? You don't throw it. It's not. No, you don't. But you have to. You have to move it physically. He's a fucking wizard. He, he can doesn't turn it. Pick have it up. Gone, have you ever gone curling? <laughs> what I'm saying is, he can put a <laughs> spell. Have you ever gone, answer the question, Jose. Jose. Answer the question. I have not. I have. That thing's heavy as shit. Uh, remember, okay, Dumbledore he, is also a world class bowler. Don't forget. He can get it there what? with is the that spell. Real? He yeah. doesn't have to hold yeah. it. I mean, I'll take. I'll take Shark's word for it. The wizard, whatever the fuck wizard pin bowling is. Yeah. Plus, he can turn into a fucking phoenix. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not willing to <laughs> knock him off. He because claps he's his old hands like he's in a thriller music video and turns into a phoenix. I think he can slide a goddamn curling stone. <laughs> and put some fucking English on it, too, I bet. Just a nice spin. Where it looks like it's not going to go in and then curves in at the last moment. All right. Uh, sp- Spider-Man and Reed Richards, Melvins. 
Yeah, 100%. yeah, they're like, both they're good picks. I don't think they're good picks for this game. Yeah, they have right. great powers, but uh, when none, Juan's none of their arguments, responsibilities here. Yeah, Juan starts his argument with they're going to do a bunch of math, and it's like, okay, math's great and all, but we have super powered athletes on other teams, so yeah, no, useless. But we're doing math, bro. <laughs> And I, I wish we had a little more for Captain Planet and Kane. I wish we had a little more. I mean, even if you uh, argue it for ourselves, let, okay, let's let's argue C Captain Power and Kane. Captain or Captain Planet? Sorry, he he can control. Can Captain Planet control the elements? He has. I the honestly don't know. He has the power of fire, earth, earth. Water, air, wind, air. water, and heart. So which is very fucking. So he can wrong. adjust the uh, density of the air. He can uh, con control the density or the smoothness of the ice. But also, I think he's half retarded. Captain <laughs> <laughs> A little bit flighty. And Kane's just going to be over here with his belt tied around his neck, hanging from a <laughs> closet rod. Yeah. Yeah, Captain Plant's going to be so excited to see everybody. And too busy fucking glad hand and to be like, oh, I'm really glad to buy his here. You know, also, let's have a real talk about climate change. Captain Planet, I need you to watch me while I jerk off and hang myself <laughs> in the closet. And we're you're gonna kids. have fucking Neo over here be like, throw the goddamn rock, asshole! <laughs> and remember, kids, weather is not climate. Oh. I remember an episode where Captain Planet was brought to his knees because people on the freeway were playing their radios too loud. <laughs> noise pollution? Because it was noise pollution. Oh, no. Tree, tree, tree. <laughs> tree, tree, tree. Into a fucking tree. Uh, All right, Melvin, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah, when the score, when the judges hold the scorecard up, it'd be, it put him, it'd trigger him from them tearing trees down. To make <laughs> yeah, the exactly. There's a lot, a lot going on oh there. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, Meanie and Donald, Melvin, get the fuck out of here. Uh yeah, and Nazi sympathizer. So and Nazi, <laughs> yeah. But extra points for Donald being the only person that we found with photographic evidence that he curled. Fucking yeah. a right, great. Take your Attack on Titan asses out of here. Yeah, yeah but, he fucking. But then we start curled. <laughs> he curled at fucking uh, Hitler's birthday party. Uh, I bet yeah. you, I I bet you, I could find a picture of Donald Duck in blackface. You can probably, I, I almost guarantee you, you can find Bugs Bunny in blackface. Uh, I found yeah. Daffy Duck in blackface. Yeah, for sure. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Fucking, I mean, not just because you're mine, but I think Maui and Iron Man is really good for this event. Uh, I think it's solid. I, I, I think what, is, what is Maui? Like, what's his deal? I've never seen this movie. Uh, he's a demigod, so he's super strong. His whole biggest gimmick is like turning into, aside from being incredibly strong, is turning into animals. With this magic giant fish hook, and he's a god, so he's like immortal. Yeah, and his tattoos are like alive, which is kind of dope. Oh, okay, uh, Moana is pretty pretty great. Kelly, yeah, it's a good, it's a really good. You movie. should watch The Matrix, then you should watch Moana. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have some downtime this week. I'm just saying, it'd be good. Uh, yeah. yeah, watch but, it on the plane. Turn his ass into a polar bear, man, and he's fucking got this thing down. I'm just saying. I like the polar bear thing. Uh, yeah, but how can the polar bear hold? Because he's one of those cool yeah, golden that... compass polar bears. Yeah. When yeah, Maui turns bear, in, yeah. when Maui turns into animals, they're not exactly anthropomorphic, but they're he, not like normal either. You think yeah. he keeps the same size dick, or does he exaggerate whenever he can? Well, I mean, when you're the Rock, what what more do you got to do to your dick? Right. Yeah. I don't know. I've never seen it. I got no proof. I'm not doubting him. I'm just saying I haven't seen it. And again, the Iron Man's the only one here with a like a legit ass onboard targeting system. Uh, I mean, except that for works in Darth sweeping and throwing. Except for Darth Vader. <laughs> Who Did Darth Vader has some kind of a HUD? I never really thought about it. Uh, no, no, no. I'm just talking about the Force, homie. Well, yeah. The Force is his HUD. Force HUD. <laughs> but I no, I would assume Darth Vader has some sort of operating system but it's no right, Jarvis maybe, yeah. I don't know 
Is an operating system or is it more just like live support? I guess I really don't know. Uh, he's got to have a heads up display in there somehow. Yeah. Watching right. YouTube videos. All right, all right. So Juggler John. Uh, Pro ZD Yakko compilation. Impulse. What's that? No, sorry. Continue. Yep, you straight up fucking found Donald the Blackface. <laughs> All the cartoons are weird, guys. All the cartoons are weird. All right. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Like, I don't remember doing that. All right. We need, we, need, we need cuts. We need cuts. We need cuts. So. Oh, my God. Real quick. Speaking of blackface, I've made a really? lot of comments recently. Like, man, um, you know, my dad has some real opinions about race, but I don't remember anybody ever showing up to our Halloween party in blackface. And then the other day I was like, oh, fuck. Someone did show up to one of our Halloween parties in blackface, but it was oh, like no. it was one of my Halloween parties in the past ten years. Oh no! Do you remember Jose? Were you there for that? Uh, maybe you weren't there for that one. I don't remember. I'm not gonna blackface. say his name or anything, yeah. but yeah, let's not like, name this. Great... But we, I'll, you're gonna tell me after. Oh, I will. Great dude, like. I I wouldn't say he's the least bit racist, but oh man, I remembered there was fucking I I got I implicated myself on a blackface scandal is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> like maybe I shouldn't have talked so tough on Twitter. That's fucking great. Love it. So making cuts. How do we feel about um, Yakko and Impulse? Uh, what was the argument for Yakko? Just Looney Tunes powers. That he has like leadership qualities. <laughs> <laughs> what is he running for student council? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't like the best. Is he applying uh, for a loan? Let's see. Hang on. Let's see. Melvin. <laughs> uh, Yakko will be in the curler position with impulse on sweep. Yakko's skill and finesse and leadership tendencies make him greatly suited for this task. Nope. No. Sorry. Yeah, Melvin. No. John. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, right, uh, if the next event is naming all of the countries in the world. Fucking 100%. <laughs> yes. Right, cats out. Vetters out. Uh, okay. So fucking Dumbledore and Snow. They in? I I like them, but okay. I, I don't know I don't know where I would rank them right now. Yeah, uh, yeah. Let's leave them in. Let's leave them in. Where, where are we picking? Five, six? Oh, we're just picking whatever we need. We're just getting rid of the ones that we don't right now. Yeah, wands out. Snow and Dumbledore. They're they're in it. They're in it. <laughs> Mao and Iron Man are in it. Um. Fucking yeah, the denim's out. Uh I guess Joe Wang's in it. The little Superman in uh, Voldemort, I guess. Um, he's drunk. I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool with cutting and, Joe Wang at this point. It, okay. And Vol and Voldemort's just a shitty asshole, right? And and Dumbledore has the bit about he is a champion bowler and Jon Snow sweeps, so they both have skills yep. that relate. Yep. Yeah. All right, so Joe Wang's in. Uh, I'd say Vader and Black Panther definitely in it. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. I'm making notes. Uh, I think Jose's in it. Neo and Sub Zero, they're in it. Absolutely. Okay, so I have a question about the Matrix people. What's the difference between the Matrix people not all the time being in those beds that Shark sent us the picture of? Okay. The See, that's the thing. I, I don't. And a fish sitting in a fish tank. Because let's say these are all like, like they, to me, that's the same thing. You, the, the Matrix is essentially like great virtual reality. And the main characters of the Matrix movie have found a way to basically hack it to get themselves superpowers. And they can learn how to do anything just by like basically downloading the uh, fucking tutorials, right. basically. So, you know, he knows shit about shit, and then suddenly he's a Kung Fu master because they put in the Kung Fu master dot exe disc and he's fucking out the kung fu master. so yeah so so we're this these games are essentially happening in the matrix they're in the real world jacked into the computers but because this world quote unquote is the matrix they all have fucking crazy superpowers and because neo's the one 
he's got the most. Like he he can do whatever. He's and he's got the biggest winter jacket. Yeah, he's got the biggest trench coat. He's <laughs> Superman meets Goku meets Jesus meets. But then, like, uh, Luke what's Skywalker. to stop Batman from hacking into the Matrix? I mean, dude was on. Yeah, but dude hacked the mother box. Like he knows how to get into this shit. Well, because that's cheating. Yeah, I mean. Batman, hack, Bat- like, like I'm not hacking into Batman. Batman not, can yeah, show up. I really say that the games are happening in the Matrix, but like, in order for Neo to make any fucking sense, he has to have his Matrix powers. Right, right, right. Well, I mean, I figured it was it was an easy way to explain it away. Like, the, our sure. real world is technically the Matrix, so that's what and, we're yeah, these characters and, like exist to your in the point, world. Batman couldn't hack it. Unless he was first awakened in his fucking real world pod and had like the very special like, equipment to do it, so that's like, a so fucking no, cool. Right. Like, let's okay. just start putting Batman into other properties, guys. Put yeah. Batman in Space Jam. Put Batman in the Matrix. Let's go. Like, this is I'm we're down. having we're having all these problems getting Batman movies made. This is how we do yeah. it right here. Yeah, just put them in other stuff. all of them. But even if Batman were able to hack into the Matrix. He's he's not going to be able to use it because he's showing up with his utility belt, but he wouldn't normally show up having hacked into the Matrix, you know. Yeah. And so to that end, are we putting uh, Michael Jordan and Batman in this, or are we mailing them out. Well, we got. I, I'd put them in. I feel like we got a top five right how right now. We've got Jon Snow and Dumbledore. Got a top five. Neo, Sub Zero, Black Panther, Darth Vader, Jordan, Batman, Maui, and Iron Man. So. Do we now uh, do our our ranking votes for these five? I got wait. I got Maui, Iron Man, Snow, Dumbledore, Super Voldemort, Vader, Panther, Neo, Sub Zero. Right. So if I put Batman, MJ at six. Wait, wait, wait. no, didn't we cut? We cut we, Superman. We cut Voldemort. Superman. Okay. And okay, 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 okay. Cool. All right. So, all right. So, so MJ and Batman. <laughs> what if we put Batman and Michael Jordan in the Matrix? Zero says. <laughs> there we go. All right, so there's our five. Okay, so there, there's a five. So we each do a top four then. Yeah, so we can't pick ourselves, right? Yeah. Yeah. But your top pick gets five points. And okay. who is it? And your lowest pick gets no points. What? <laughs> How about we just do five, four, three, or let's do four, three, two, one? So let's just do a top three then. Yeah, that's how we did it last time, right? No, we, we ranked them all last time. Well, yeah, but only the top three score. I'm fine. With- yeah, but if so- if something's not getting if something's getting zero points, there's no reason to rank it. If I give something one point, you give it three, then it has four points. <laughs> this is the but same no, you problem said- we had you- last week. You said something gets zero points. Yeah, because you-, you can't pick yourself if you're in there. Yeah, but so wait, there's five teams alive. We each pick four things. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Fuck me. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Never mind. You're right. You're right. Okay. So what are we doing? Rank the five. So you got Maui and Iron Man, Snow and Dumbledore, MJ and Bats, Vader, Panther, Neo, Sub Zero. That's it. That that's them's the fucking ones. We got them. And we yeah. are we are not <laughs> ranking our own team. You cannot rank your own team. So that's we're, the, that's we're, the rule we established last week. Give us some background music, guys. We're ranking a uh, a four three two one or a five four three two. Yep. Five four <laughs> three two. Yeah, five four three two one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Background music. Let's see what C two E two video music do we want to listen to? I love it. I love it. What was the teams again? <laughs> my, way and I, my way and Iron Man. Snow and Dumbledore. J and Bats. Peter Panther. Neil Sub-Zero. I got mine ranked. Right, I got mine. I got mine. Yeah, I'm good. I'm 
good. All right. <laughs> Zero in the chat says, I think for next season, I'll just make a judge's page to simplify this. <laughs> I, I basically have one in my, I'm looking at one right now, more or less. Today I was telling him, I was like, man, we need to set it up so that like we can just submit our arguments through the website. Yeah. Although, I mean, if, I can, if we can share this document, then we'll be in good shape. All right. So who's your first uh, first pick? Now he's like your, your big winner. My big winner would be Neo and Sub-Zero. Okay, all right. Next. I got, uh, I I wasn't thinking that they were going to make it into my top three, but I'm going to go Jordan Batman. Yeah. What the fuck? All right. Next. Uh, I will go with <sighs> credit to Shark for the details. I'll go with Jon Snow with his sweeping and Dumbledore with his bowling. And then wrapping it up is Iron Man and Maui. Sorry, Lee. All right. Uh, Jose? Number three, I got. Uh, start start I, at the top. You're your big winner. Oh, my big winner! I gave it to fucking Snow and Double Door, the sleeper. <laughs> <laughs> like I liked it. I dug that. Okay. Next. Uh, then I got Vader. Okay. And then I got. Um... Ooh, no! Sorry, sorry. Well, yeah. And then next, I had. Maui. Okay. No, wait. No. Okay. Vader. What? <laughs> yeah, the Maui. M MJ didn't make the cut. So. Okay. Okay. Whoa. And then Kelly, what you got? Uh, Darth Vader and uh, Black Panther. Nice. Okay. Then Jon Snow and Dumbledore. Okay. Wow. Neo, Neo and Sub Zero. Okay. Whoop whoop. And then uh, Maui and Iron Man. All right, cool. All right, so. All right, let's get that. And done. Totals are in. No ties or nothing? Uh, tie for uh, your second. We got a clear winner with 11 points and then two with 10 points. Okay, so so let's let's hash this out. Who are the All two? Right, so. well, who? <laughs> your, 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 your tie for second place is Vader and Panther and Neo and Sub-Zero. What? Yeah. You're, you're yeah. telling me that fucking Jon Snow and Dumbledore got first place? Yep. Uh, they sure the fuck did. No fucking ah. way. How yep. many How many first did they fucking... Who, who picked them number one? Jose? They picked, picked number one. one. What'd, you pick, what'd you rank them, Lee? Uh, I did... Uh, he Neo said, what'd you do, Lee? <laughs> Neo and Sub Zero. We didn't hear Lee. What'd you do? Neo and Sub Zero for my first pick. Nice. Then, okay. Uh, okay. Vader and Panther. No and Dumbledore. And then MJ and Bats. Well, if I, I'm the only one that put them first. Yeah. How does that math fucking work? Because I got two first votes. Right, but then you, you also got first and I you also got a, a a two spot with Kelly, and then a, a, a zero for yourself. So it's ten. It's uh, eleven points total. There's no Dumbledore, and then a tie with ten points for the other two. Those two, and then if you're curious, uh, MJ and Bats with five points, Maui and Iron Man with four points. Trust me, it makes sense. I changed my fucking rankings. <laughs> <laughs> You can't. You done locked it in. God Just, damn it. Judge of tallies are in. Jose, what the fuck, man? <laughs> How's that my fault? I only gave him one. You fucking ranked them first place. Once. <laughs> yeah. It is <laughs> Once, literally I got two first votes. <laughs> it is 100% Jose's fault that they won. What? I voted so once for them. Yeah. Well, yeah. but that's Yeah, you put them in, in your first place. That's how, that's how averages get fucked up, Jose. <laughs> Well, yeah, because I thought they had a good argument. You Man, and you, please. you thought they deserved a gold. And Kelly put them down low. Neo and Sub Zero down low, and that fucked up their average. Thanks, Kelly. Oh, so this isn't Kelly's fault? <laughs> it's, it's, it's both of your fault. Yeah, uh, me and Nyes are surprisingly pretty, pretty well in sync. So that's pretty close. So yeah. All right, vote well, Lee my gold. So what? What the fucking what? What? What's who are the two teams that are going? 
for uh, second and third? Uh, Vader and Panther and Neo and Sub Zero. So I I vote Vader and Panther. We we can't vote, right? Yeah. Uh, I go Vader Panther. Vader Panther. That was my. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How many. Jose. Well, then we're still Jose. tied because Jose. Jose. if Lee picked me one, he can't change his. Jose. And Kelly picked you one, he can't change his. We're still tied. Jose, did you rank three people or four people? Well, I guess just by ranking three, three you you Only, only the four. three matter, right? Well, then I threw a, a one point in there for MJ and Bats on his behalf. So, okay, so then... Uh, toss it to the commish, man. Is that zero still in the chat? Uh, yes, and he says, reminder, colon, judges are instructed to give a little extra consideration to those who lock their teams in early. Also, I win. I locked my shit in like during the podcast last week. Cool. cool uh, go, so go. did I. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> oh, well, in that case. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, wait, this go. is a race this goes to Vader and Panther. On a, I put an asterisk by this whole fucking <laughs> night. Now I, what the fuck? I'm on Jose's team suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> There's some weird, sketchy shit going on here. <laughs> I wanted Nice to win, and I'm upset that he won. What the fuck? <laughs> I I ranked Shark over Lee because I was like, oh, this would be fucked up if it's just like the four of us who are just in the medal rounds every time. And then he ended up winning the gold. God damn it. So there you go. So there you go. So uh, three points for his fucking team. You got Shark with the gold. Uh, Vader and Panther taking the silver. And the UN Sub-Zero bringing home the bronze. Take it back to Zion. There you go. Hey, God damn it. I guess I only fucked myself. Don't we all? Uh, two weeks in a row, I got fucked. <laughs> Once by somebody else and once by me. Hey, you meddled, though. So that's 50 yeah, 50. I'll meddled. take it. Oh, yeah, no damn right. Felt good. Damn right. Felt good to be up there. Don't worry. I had uh, Trinity hack into my memory, so she kind of knows I was here, too. I, I honestly think next week I want to I wanna set up. I think we could do polls on YouTube. I'm setting my guys right now. <laughs> So who's 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 fucking first? Now? Well, doesn't it? It has to be your other one next week, essentially, unless it's a two two player game. Not necessarily, because now now that all all of them have been chosen, yeah, they're they're all up for grabs all now, right? Grabs. They've yeah. all competed once. Yeah. Well, we all know who I'm going with. So the uh, Michael Jordan game three. Now, bear in mind, we are we're not doing a show next week because uh, we'll be uh, we'll be recovering from Toy Fair. Some of us will be traveling. I'm but... still picking my guy now. The game three is uh, alpine skiing competition. Oh, sweet. Uh, competitors ski down mountains and must manage the technicality and negotiating the tight slalom turns. It's a series of gates, uh, which are formed by a pair of flimsy poles. The gates alternate between red and blue. The skier must pass through each gate as they go down the slope. Specifically, their feet and skis have to be between the poles. It's common for the skier's upper body to hit the poles. Fucking ow. Uh, the course is 200 meters long and has 75 gates. The gates are horizontally spread out along the slope, requiring the skier to go back and forth while going down the hill. The minimum ski length is 120 centimeters, which is 7 160. inches. 160 centimeters. There you go. So, fucking go to adzing.org slash sports, lock in your competitor, and uh, we'll do them when we get back from New York City. I put in the guy that there's a bunch of pictures of him skiing online. <laughs> Looking forward to uh, Goofy being the uh, the choice for skiing. I feel like Vetter's going to win one with Air Bud one of these times. Yeah. yeah it, it's, it's not going to be one he's headbutting rocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not that one. Not that one. Because that fucking poor dog, I saw him go to bed. I do not let that dog sleep tonight. Keep his eyes <laughs> wide open, please. God damn it. I can't believe Shark fucking got the gold on that Darn. one. Love it. And poor Goofy fucking dropped him out of the goddamn gurney they went and picked him up in. <laughs> he, had to, he, had wa- he had to watch this dog give himself brain damage. That changed the man. Not again. Changed the man. It's like my wife all over again. <laughs> 
It's fucked up. It's fucked it's up. It's involuntary. I can't help it. I just do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, what the fuck does that mean? Fucking Shark has two gold medals now? Two gold medals. God damn it. This one's on you, Kelly. <laughs> How? You're the one who put her in first place. <laughs> Jose, you fucking Melvin. <laughs> I do. You Melvin yourself. <laughs> yeah, you actually Melvin yourself, Jose. You were going to win. You would have had the gold had you not fucking put Dumbledore up there. Quit Melvining yourself, Jose. Yeah. He's got a good fucking sweep. What can I say? You should have <laughs> put me in first place. God damn it. You ain't fucking Michael Jordan. And exactly. then now Shark in the sports. now Shark in the chat is like, I'm undefeated in four straight events now. Yeah, God look damn. what you did. Actual fantasy did football, you... fantasy football, and then this. Did you send him your belt yet? Yeah, send the man his belt. <laughs> I forgot. Make a note. <laughs> you got sticky notes? Find a box. Do you even have his address yet? I got sticky notes. When's my birthday? <laughs> <laughs> December 25th. <laughs> I am. Sure. Uh, All right. Let's talk comic books if I got here real quick. Oh, comic e books. Oh, I'm on a fucking Pond 5 playlist right now. Ah. Uh, comics. Oh, books and ink comes off on your hands. Every time you turn the page, you have to wash your hands. All right, so fucking with the uh, new creative team on Archie, they made it too much like Riverdale, and that bums me out. Oh, like I like Riverdale, but like I don't need, I don't want a murder mystery in my fucking Archie comics. I don't, I don't, no. I don't, I don't like that. Uh, like, um, you've also got you know Archie dating Sabrina the Teenage Witch, trying to keep that a secret from everybody, and that's great. There's there's parts of what you know I really liked about the way to run in here too, but it's also like you know the books are now narrated by Jughead. Much like Riverdale is, and that kind of uh, that bums me out. I don't like that. Bums me out. Um, uh, Avengers fighting the vampires was fucking rad. That was that was real cool. That was a lot of fucking fun. Like every bit of that was fantastic. Like, I don't know. Like, are we supposed to know these other characters or the, the, these like uh, crazy like gas mask vampires or no? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. I'm still very positive that the gas mask vampire is going to be that white Dracula Could that be. popped up. I uh, really did enjoy the scene with Captain America fighting a bunch of vampires outside a church in Romania. That was fucking dope. That was cool as hell. Yeah, like it's everything about it was awesome. Uh, like that a lot. Um, well, some fucking the Immortal Hulk made me cry, man. Like I fucking a, a drop. God, of that book is so good dropped a fucking tear man when like when that 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 page where Hulk kind of helps banner up like i'm like oh shit i got i got a feeling about this like it was really fucking powerful it's been really good really really good yeah it was like you know what what do you say it's, uh, it's just uh it's, i love you stupid kid because somebody had to hulk says to banner and then helps him up it's like fuck man it's good stuff good stuff um and then uh, I wanted to like female theories because thought it was gonna be like Mr. Miracle. It's not. No. No, it's not at all. Like I thought the implication I and granted, all I know is that based upon like some of the preview images and the fact that they kind of hyped that at the end of Mr. Miracle, I thought it was gonna be kind of like a sequel to that. Or at least like in the same spirit. And it's it's not. Like it's yeah, it's not. And I I I get what they're doing with it. I don't necessarily think it works with these characters. Yeah, like it's, it's... like I just can't see Dark Side as like a Harvey Weinstein type because I just don't picture Dark Side fucking. Right. Right. Like that doesn't seem like something he would even care about. No. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I, I, I know. I don't. I don't necessarily think that it's bad. But it's definitely not what I wanted. No, I, I totally agreed. Yeah, and then uh, yeah, and then um, last one I'll talk about is uh, Daredevil. Man, Daredevil number one, Dardarsky and Chichetto. It's fucking perfect, man. Real good. Fucking perfect. I like uh, the flashbacks are drawn very much in the, that um, 
uh, Matt in the flashbacks looks like young Matt in Man Without Fear. Yes. Like drawn very much in that exact same style, which is pretty great. Um, you know, we've got Daredevil. He's kind of he's fresh out of like fucking physical therapy. I think he hit by that bus, like kind of trying to get his life together. Uh, goes out of Daredevil, just and then gets in a fight with just some fucking some Melvins outside a liquor store and is having trouble. Like you know, he's just he's just too 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 hurry. He's not ready yet. Uh, ends up getting kind of fucked up a little bit. Uh, and then uh, Kingpin, as we learned alongside Kingpin on the news, uh, one of the fucking dudes he fought outside the liquor store uh, dies as a result of the head trauma. And it's like, oh, shit, that's a thing that we kind of joke about happening all the time, but it actually happened. That's kind of interesting. How the fuck are you going to you know, deal with actually having killed the man? And just some fucking dude. Like, did he finally go off and kill Kingpin in a fit of rage? No, he killed some fucking joker by accident. And so that's... A really powerful way to set up that story. I, I like that a lot. What else you got, Kelly? Uh, not much. You know, I'm looking at my list of books that came out last week. An issue of Batman came out. I have no recollection of reading it. What the fuck? Yeah, what? Um, oh, <laughs> because, because, because it's part of some fucking tie-in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that uh, Flash thing. Okay, that's right. I was trying to think of, like, what was the weird nightmare he was having in this issue, but no, it was, he was hanging out with Flash. Okay, yeah. that's why I don't it remember. really it. broke the momentum and rhythm of that story to do this instead, and that fucking sucks. Yeah. Like, that sucks real bad. I don't give a shit. Uh, let's see. The Mystery Science Theater comic is still very good. How does that work? Uh, so what they do is they take public domain comics, and they add word bubbles to them, and and the characters are actually like placed into the comics by you know the evil scientist that makes them watch the shitty movies huh it's really cool and done way better than i ever thought it would be interesting okay yeah no it's if you like the show it's i highly recommend picking it up that's cool all right yeah it's it's really cool how they do it <laughs> And even the coolest thing about it was the, with the first issue, I looked up what what the comic they were in and found it in some like online database thing and was able to compare the pages. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's neat. Yeah, so that that's that was really cool. I've really enjoyed that mini series. Uh, let's see, Conan Conan's still really good. Uh, God, I, I'm a Conan guy now, so now I'm just old as fuck, I guess. <laughs> Turns out I'm in my 40s. I'm just an old cracker. <laughs> Time to start reading Ren Sonia and fucking Vampirella now, I guess. Oh man, do you really like uh, John Carter Mars now? Oh fuck, I do. <laughs> oh, oh man, man remember dude. that? <laughs> do I? They still put out those comics all the fucking time. Those same man. six guys still buy them. Let me tell you something. Old men love Deja Thoris. <laughs> Young she's man, hanging, Thor too, son. She's hanging out with uh, Red Sonia now, or no, Vampirella. Sorry. That's so. Uh, that book is just called Boner Factory. Yep. You get even get cosplay covers of each character. That's gross. Sure is. That's okay. gross. Uh oh, and then there is a Superman 100 page spectacular that came out. Uh, it was I think. Four. It was originally supposed to be four issues of Superman Confidential. Uh, it's written by Marv Wolfman, and it takes place right when Clark gets to uh, Metropolis for the first time. Huh. All right. And it kind of feels like it would have been like Ultimate Superman almost, in that it's not far off from the original telling, but it's different enough and kind of modernized for when it was supposed to come out in 2006, I believe. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, honestly, Marv Wolfman says it's the, like the best Superman story he ever wrote, and I kind of agree. Like, it's actually really good. Um, huh. All right. Yeah, it's a fun little story about just Clark trying to make his way in Metropolis. Huh. Okay. Yeah, and uh, I think that's it. Right on. Solid. It's been a couple of light weeks on comics. I'm I'm not mad about it. Like. Yeah. It's, it's been easy to keep easy to keep it together. Easy to keep straight. And uh, I'll have a whole lot to read on the plane, hopefully. Yep. This Got week uh, is the release of the first issue of The Wonder Twins, written by Mark Russell, 
who did the uh, uh, Snaggletooth book and the Flintstones book. Oh, see, I didn't give a fuck about Wonder Twins until this exact moment. Exactly. Man, did I enjoy that fucking Flintstones book. Oh. Have, have you heard about the Vertigo book he's doing, Second Coming? No. Uh, so the basic idea is that God sends Jesus back to Earth. And he's like, and he pretty much introduces him to Superman. And he's like, look, the first time you came here, they killed you in 33 years and you didn't do shit. Look at all this stuff Superman's done. Learn, learn from him. Huh. All right. Yeah. I'm very excited for that book. I think that's coming in the next, like, it was sometime within the next month or so. Huh. Okay. That sounds interesting. Yeah. So it's, it's basically Jesus hangs out with Superman. Okay. Who I think is Solar Man or something in this book. Interesting. All right. And there are already religious groups trying to get it pulled. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. <laughs> because, you know. Fuck. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, the backlash my brother faces for his life choices. It's going to be yeah. a lot of fun. It's going to be good. So, yeah. Uh, what you got, Nice? You know we're talking about? Uh, just trying to find out how to make a fucking poll on YouTube. <laughs> but all the articles are from 2012. And I'm sure the technology is exactly the same as it was. So, back then. cutting edge. Yeah. Real good. Uh, real good. So, went to see uh, Adam Sandler live this past Sunday, and it was spectacular. Oh, that's nice. cool, dude. Was. Rob Schneider opened for him, and at one point, he brought out the one dude from Waterboy that has the cross eyes. He goes, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and they just that's did a bit. It was, it was super cool, man. Schneider was good. He was good. Well done, old man. And, like, the stage production is real nice, too. It's not just a, you know, because it's, it's, a, it's a concert, too. He, he does comedy, he does songs, and, man, Adam Sandler can shred. Like, no joke. Like, he always had the acoustic guitar on Saturday Night Live on Update. And, you know, he did a few albums, but, man, he, he they uh, they kind of came out and they opened, they did a cover of Tom Petty's Breakdown, and he killed it! <laughs> That's crazy. Killed it. Duetted with Rob Schneider on it. Very cool. And then, uh, now just trying to figure out this whole finger snapping thing. It's, uh, it, I sent multiple videos to Mahoney of me testing various snapping theories out. <laughs> and I came to the conclusion that it's a combination of both your thumb and your middle finger, the friction and your middle finger hitting your palm. It's not just your middle finger hitting the palm because that just sounds like fapping. Like there's no snap to it. You need, you need both. You need a, you know what I'm saying? Know what I'm talking about? Sure. Sure. Yeah. And then uh, last thing is, uh, I just wanted to talk about the uh, four animated Marvel shows Hulu picked up. Man, fuck yeah. A MODOK animated series. Howard the well, Duck. is voiced by Patton Oswalt. Oh, that's spectacular. Yeah. Tigra and Dazzler and Hitmonkey. And fucking Howard the Duck. And Hulu's like, yeah, we'll take them uh, We'll take them Defender series too while you're at it if you want. Did they? Well, they said that they are interested in bringing those shows back, if it's a possibility. See, but I thought it wasn't. I well, could be wrong. Well, I thought, the didn't they say something about there being like a two-year... Yes, I do believe thing? there was... Hulu open to reviving Netflix's Marvel shows, quote, when they're ready. Huh. All right. We've had a relationship... So they all right. They all right. Man, that Daredevil will end up really fucking good, man. Dig it. Talking about how they have a good relationship with Marvel. You know, they're doing Runaways. They're doing these four cartoons. Um, yeah. And the reason this is different than Netflix is because Disney owns a piece of Hulu. And they said, Marvel has yeah, a ton of titles. motherfuckers. Marvel has a ton of titles we'd be interested in. Interested in. It kind of just depends on when they're ready. And who, most oh. importantly, is going to be behind these things. There you go. Yep. I dig it. So they're like, fuck Jeff Loeb. <laughs> <laughs> Got anything else, Jose? Uh, go ahead to hit fucking 
breaking news. <laughs> oh, uh-oh. I picked my character for for the next Winter Olympics. Yeah. Trinity. <laughs> that's it? Okay. <laughs> better I'm just bring a, in. Better bring a fucking jacket, lady. Uh Frontier. Pretty good show. Aquaman and Fur. Badass. Six episode seasons. Pretty good. Check it out. And uh GameStop. Fuck you for charging me four different times for shipping and handling for one box. That's horseshit, man. It's fucking dirty. So okay, so I call them today. Yeah, we knew we knew that was going to happen when you originally ordered them, but then there no, was but, talk. But they, when you order them, it makes it look like they're possibly going to get shipped out individually. Yeah, whatever the fuck. But then also there, we saw around the internet that people were talking like they're getting, they're talking to GameSpot, GameStop about getting those extra shipping costs refunded. So what what happened? Uh, well, we're going back and forth, and he's giving me, he's like, oh, well, I see, yes, I see this, and yes, and I'm like, yeah, no, you guys charge me shipping four times, and then you send me one box, so they're on the same box. You guys are pretty much pocketing 30 bucks. the other money. Yeah. Like, if you were sending me each one individually, I could understand it, because that's how you made it look. Even if they all showed up on the same day. Yeah, it doesn't matter, but if they all individually showed up, I can't complain about being charged shipping four times. But you sent me all four in the fucking same box, so why did I get charged three extra times for shipping? So we're going back and forth, and he's giving me another excuse, and I said, okay, well, I get what your numbers say, but you're still taking my money. This is what's going on. And then the phone clicked. Oh, so, what? Oh, you need to go up the it ladder. It still son. showed that my shit was. My phone call was going, so I didn't accidentally hang up. And he didn't hang up. He just, like, muted me. Okay. And then if I hung up, then the record probably shows, well, I ended the call. It probably shows who ends the call, but it, oh, def- definitely. it probably doesn't keep record of how many times he was on mute. Huh. So if he mutes and then I just think, oh, well, it's done, then it looks like I hung up the call. So I need to decide, is this $21 worth my fight and effort of jumping back on the phone and talking to somebody above this? another fucking figure for $21. Absolutely. That's what I'm saying. That's another fucking turn. I would buy two mics. It is absolutely worth it. And I feel like you just you just need to bitch and complain just a tiny bit well, more, and yeah, but, but no, but no, 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 no. There's not bitch and complain more. It's I want to talk to the guy who, who you talked to because right. the last one of you I talked to hung up on me. They, I want to talk to the they, guy above you. They are not I'm, having a very good look this week because you know they well, don't, don't fucking do that. That's dirty. They, That's fucking dirty. Well, like. There's you got lucky that you got those in hand because people's pre orders were getting canceled the day they were supposed to ship. Yep. Like Game GameStop has been making some claims that like they didn't have enough stock, so on and so forth, and NECA's like, that shit ain't true. And you know, they're Oh ne- yeah, NECA's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. They were no, supposed y'all to have, motherfuckers letting your employees buy this shit. That's what's going they're on. They're supposed to have more figures in store, not just the pre-orders, but a lot of stores are just getting pre-orders and then saying, no, nah, you can't you can't pick up well, shit in store. I'll tell you what, if if there's a pre-order again and it doesn't have to go through NECA, I'm not going to... I mean, it doesn't have to go through GameStop, I'm not going to do it. Here's the thing. GameStop is trash. Like, yes. GameStop fucking sucks. Like... They push the pre-order model so bad because they don't want to. They don't want to inventory shit they can't sell. I respect that. Whatever, fine. Like that means you're a shitty store, but okay. But if that's true, then you better fill every goddamn pre-order you have because you order the number that you need. Yeah, yeah. Don't tell me you don't have it. So yes, I, 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 I do feel lucky that I have it. But at the same time. Don't fucking don't don't do people like that. That's just wrong. That's dirty. That's fucking low. Well, we knew it was fucking weird when you originally ordered them. It's like why are they charging you ten dollars each? And it was we just figured it was a it was a bug 
and that they would honor it and and give you back the money for the shipping. Oh no, 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 they honored it. They honored the price. Zero said he canceled his turtles with GameStop because they charged ten dollars chip shipping each. Mm. Well, I was yeah, but I was already riding the high of having my <laughs> shit stolen out of my goddamn shopping cart twice. I was not going to let shipping and handling stop it's me true. from getting these motherfuckers. Just Something I will me. say about NECA as of late, just from our ordering at work, uh, they've jacked up the prices on shipping like crazy. Yeah, but this is and, GameStop. But I'm still saying the shipping to them. Because the shipping they've been sending to us, like, it, there's no real rhyme or reason to it. Just, like, every now and then we'll get figures where it's like, oh, shipping was $8 a figure. Cool. So I wonder if they pulled that kind of shit with th- them, too. Hmm. Huh. And then, But this is also the same company, GameStop, where you could buy a brand new game for fifty nine ninety nine, bring it back the next day. Like, I want to trade this in. Cool, I'll give you $4. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, so... Their whole fucking thing has been terrible from the beginning. It stinks because GameStop's becoming a big player when it comes to action figures and collectibles. They just yeah, and to, I think they really the, the experience, too, depends on your store. I think some of the stores are good, and some of the individual stores are trash. But overall, as an organization, they're kind of trash. Yeah, kind of trash. So have you... I, I'm a, I haven't seen any pictures well, this, this of your... Was, this tur- was today. I haven't seen and any pictures of your turtles out of the box yet. Have you been playing with them? No. What? No, I have not open them yet <laughs> he's already put them on ebay <laughs> yeah uh and watch out because that shipping is high <laughs> if you all if you buy all four is the lot i'm still sending them each individually to you nice and if you're lucky you might get a championship belt in the mail with them turtles <laughs> <laughs> it's on all the right. way i'll send it i'll send it. i'll get it off tomorrow how about that i'll put it on my to-do list i'll find you a box but now it's only fair that what has happened to this belt during this rain stays. And you're gonna the same goes leave, to every. You're, you're going to leave Tito on it? Fuck yeah. That's I mean, my mark on the belt. <laughs> I mean, you don't get to just make a mark. I mean, you want, every and champion plus, has plus, the chance to make a mark. Cena showed up with a fucking spinning belt. It's what made out of paper. It's chance. made out of paper too, so it's not going to last. So well, I, last I think Shark can challenge. do whatever he wants to do with the belt, just like you yeah. did whatever you wanted to do with the belt when you had. But it. I didn't undo anything anybody else did. That's all I, I'm. I saying. don't care. <laughs> 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 you undid that I had it for two years straight. Ah, did I do that or did you do that? I didn't beat you. All right. I'm going to wrap this up. I got a piece of bad. I can't stand and, it anymore. And Kelly's got to yeah. shovel snow tomorrow. Remember when I, I, I cursed us and said we should keep this one short? Well, I mean, it's still yeah. short, but yeah, it, it, it could have been 15 minutes shorter. <laughs> I'm wearing shorts. <laughs> I was surprised Lee went for comics. I, I, I was so caught off guard. Yeah, this I one's on I you, Lee. <laughs> and then all this should happen. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, yeah, we will not be here next week because we're going to be in fucking New York City in a couple of days hanging out. Uh, but we have lots of stories about the toy fairs. Uh, follow us all on our social medias. We'll be posting stuff. Uh, all sorts of pictures. All kinds of pictures and stuff like that. It'll be fun times. Um, yeah, it's going to be good. Uh, get in your picks for the Alpine Skiing event. We'll talk about that when we come back. And by all means, dude, please do hit up seedandspark.com and uh, toss a few bones at the God Country feature-length yeah. horror film from my brother and the good folks over at Modern Horrors because it's going to be a bloody good time. And follow the Modern Horrors guys all, all over the place. And the movie has Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You know, Follow all that shit. We'll link it in the in the show. All that stuff. Absolutely. So, yeah. So, we'll be back in two weeks. Uh, yeah. And um, we'll, we'll, we'll not be hard to find online uh, the interviewing time for sure. So, for Jason Nines, Jose Guzman, and Kelly Harris, I'm Lord, Lord Reverend Lee Rodriguez. I'm going to talk to you guys next week. Nope. Two weeks. <laughs> 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Central at youtube.com slash panel on pages. Night. Love you. Bye-bye.
Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye.